And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Yes! Let's enter in to a new world. A world of dungeon-crawling RPG action. It's the wildly popular Gloomhaven. Woo! Now in a digital realm. Can you believe it? It has now hit Steam Early Access as Midday has, uh, uh, you know, owns everything. As Midday bought the world, the world of gaming, the world of board gaming, from the, the smallest games to the biggest games. They are digitizing everything, and soon they will own us and digitize us as well. Basically, this will become the world of Caprica, Battlestar Galactica, where we put on our goggles, and then we live in the dungeons of Gloomhaven trying to survive. But remember... You die there, you die in real life, like in the Matrix, so, I don't know. Oh, Desert Raven Gamer hype! Thank you for the 15 months! Early start, that's right, early start today, guys. So, yes, it's only 10, 15 a.m. Eastern. Um, you see it's solo Chris stream, solo Mittens action, because uh, Lyle is still at the beach, he's still on vacation with family. Um, I have family visiting uh, from way out of town, uh, so we've had a big family week, and it's really hard for us to get on stream, so we, we I just wanted to say also, uh, prefacing, uh, we appreciate everyone being understanding um, of us taking time off from stream. Um, it's hard as a streamer to do that, and we know it's um, kind of a, a annoying to the audience out there that supports us and expects content on a consistent basis, Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at least. Um, but you guys are the best camp, and we do really appreciate you guys understanding that uh, we, we put family and work and all that kind of stuff. we got to put it before uh, the streaming stuff, even though we love doing this. Um, um, uh, we love being able to come back and see you guys there. I mean, for me, this is my board game group, man. I don't have anyone here, RL, to play games with at all. You can't, man. You're my board game group. You're my board game. You're my game of guys. You guys get to sit around and explore these games with me. You're my only friends. <laughs> nah, but uh, I really appreciate you guys coming and hanging out and getting ready for the 15 months of sponsoring right there. Um, but today, being July 17th, um, it's the release day of Gloomhaven's Early Access Digital. And now uh, Desert Raven Gamer even said, I didn't even know this one was going digital. Um, he just bought the board game, which is bigger than the Dark Souls game back here on my shelf. The thing is huge. I don't even know where you put it, dude. You're probably holding up a wall or holding up your house with it or something. Um, I don't have it physically. Uh, we last played this, as you saw at the title screen, if you showed up even earlier than the stream started. Um, you see there us with Spencer uh, and Weston from Late Night Tabletop. These guys haven't really been streaming um, uh, over the last year or so uh, as they've been moving around and kind of checking things out. But they're the Gloomhaven Masters. And at that TwitchCon in 2017, some of you might have been there um, on air watching live or even at TwitchCon with us. Uh, they taught us. They sat us down. We played Gloomhaven. They destroyed the game. I mean, they played it so much. They did it so well streaming on air, late night tabletop, um, that they sat us down. We we're like, we got to play this game with you guys. So we did a live stream of a module. Like they had some characters built up already, some heroes or whatever. Uh, and we went into a whole dungeon and tried to survive and fought it off on stream. It was really fun. Good times. Uh, so cheers to Spencer and late night tabletop and Weston over there for the great job they did on Gloomhaven guys. Now in, in discord, we were talking about this. And I was like, man, I don't know if I'm going to do Gloomhaven tomorrow. I'd love to. I want to show it. Um, you know, I'm no, we're not the Gloomhaven masters. So for me, this is going to be literally kind of a learn and play uh, with you guys. Uh, so if you're not familiar, familiar with Gloomhaven either, um, or you're familiar with Gloomhaven and just interested to see how they've digitized it uh, and want to learn kind of as I learn, that's what this, this couple hours is going to be here, uh, hanging out and kind of just exploring to see what it looks like, see what it's about. Um, but... Spencer, I believe, is going to be streaming this. I don't know. He he gave he implied in Discord that he's going to download this, buy it, support it. They're huge Gloomhaven fans, so I imagine if he's got his rig together back there in the best coast, west coast, that he's going to get this to air as well. And he's like Gloomhaven master, so he'll be able to make a lot of the like the the deep Gloomhaven fan comparisons. Um, me, I'm going to be approaching this more as just like a casual gamer, new gamer, jumping into a cool. Uh, another board game being digitized and a really popular one and a really fun one that we've enjoyed as well. So um, I hope you enjoy it and all that good stuff. Um, other than that, I do want to say uh, join us on Monday. Oh, Jonesy! Coming in here, Jonesy! I love this EU summer hype. Thank you so much, man. 19 months. We, I will be doing your wheel spins, guys, for sure. We will be doing your wheel spins. Um, yeah, this early start is great for you, right? Yeah. See, like we can't start this early because Lyle doesn't want to wake up early, man. Lyle's a sleeper, dude. He sleeps in. But uh, we appreciate you guys joining us for some Gloomhaven digital action. Um, I do want to say on Monday, the 22nd, we are super excited to have uh, Nathan and Danielle from Storm Chaser Games joining us again to play Medium with Dan Patrice, Dan Dan the Board Game Man, because Medium's going to be released at Gen Con in like two weeks, guys. What? So 
So Medium is the word association game that you probably saw us play over the Christmas special. We played, if you were at PAX Unplugged last year, they were there showing this thing off in beta, and it was great. We brought it to them. They let us take a very special version of this game to the main floor, and we played a lot with a lot of you guys. Um, this is just so fun, and like folks like Reld, Dan Patrice in our community, uh, Greater Than Games bought up the rights to this game, and they're going to be distributing it. So uh, with Bedell, our boys Bedell over there, and all that good stuff. So... We're going to bring, we streamed this once with the Storm Chaser, Nathan and Danielle, um, on Tabletop Sim, like, a while ago? I don't remember exactly. A couple months ago we did it, because uh, we were so excited after PAX to get it on air. So we showed you guys that implementation. We're going to be showing it to you again on the 22nd. We're going to show you how the game's advanced, what Greater Than Games and them have worked to do for the release that's officially happening in two weeks. And you can actually go to your FLGS, or you can go on Amazon right now and search Medium the Game, and you can pre-order it. Uh, to get ready if you're not going to make it to Gen Con because I think they're going to have copies at Gen Con. They're going to be doing, doing tons of events. Um, so we're going to discuss that with them on May 22nd. Come here, talk to Nathan and Danielle, see the changes, bringing on Dan Patrice, one of the first people that got us into this thing. And so we're going to have some new faces, have some new fun, and just have a blast playing Medium on May 22nd. So come hang out. It's going to be great. It was great. Jonesy says that was a fantastic dream. Yeah, we had a blast doing it on Christmas special with uh, the wives. Um, <laughs> they came on. It's, it's just it's such a fun, easy game to uh, bring out at game night. And every time we bring it out, people have fun with it. So, uh, did, Zestin says, did you get or try to get Lyle killed? No, he's at a beach somewhere. He's at a beach somewhere enjoying time with family. So, uh, hopefully he'll be back on the 22nd. Did I say May 22nd? Did I write May 22nd on there? No, July 22nd. Or did I just say May 22nd? <laughs> I meant July 22nd. Monday, July 22nd. Hey, man. Early stream. Early stream. Chris is still waking up early stream. I said May. Oh, sorry. It says there on the promo, at least. It says there on the promo, July 22nd. Don't listen to me. Just just read the words. <laughs> don't don't trust that I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get it wrong. Uh, yeah, it's coffee time, man. I already had one glass. Dude, uh, since my family's been here, we've been doing a lot of yard work, mulching. Uh, we've got to get a rock today. We've been running around. They're West Coast. So they keep us up too late with the kids. I was, like, fried the other day. Uh, so just trying to, trying to stay up and aware. I'm like, Whoa. But, yeah, early stream. You get early Chris. Trying to wake up. Um, Jonesy says, do we get a Nintendo Switch yet? Super Mario Maker 2 is pretty good. I want a Switch. Really do. Uh, my son would love a Switch, but no, I haven't. I've heard Super Mario Maker is amazing, man. I've heard it is really good. Um, if I can get one, I'm going to get one, but it's going to have to be sneaky. It's going to have to be real sneaky to pull that off. Uh, so here we go. Let's get into some Gloomhaven early access digital play. We're going to explore it together. Like again, I said, this is early access. So you're going to see some different stuff. I'm going to preface it here when I jump in here um, that we, the game may crash. Uh, the, I have not dove into it at all. I may have to move my camera on just to even look. I, you know, I've only seen some other people streaming it briefly uh, just to see if people were doing it. Um, and we're going to see what it's about. I hope you guys are excited. I hope everyone's really psyched. Uh, but before we do that, we got to spin the wheel here. We're going to spin the wheel for some people, right? Woo! So first, it was, uh, it, I think it was Desert Raven Gamer jumped in there first with his 15 months. Let's spin that wheel for Desert i got to click all the buttons myself, so excuse me for taking my time. I don't even know if the chat's working on here. Is this working? Chicka, 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 pop. Let's fix it. Yes. <laughs> that always fixes it. But boom, and I'm bean for Lyle. Ha ha. All right. I will do Lyle beans. I will do Lyle's beans. I will do Lyle's beans. Uh, just to be honest. And here we go. Courtesy of Desert Raven Gamer to start off our Gloomhaven run. Uh, chocolate uh, and dog food. It's going to be great. Thank you, Desert Raven Gamer, for that. I feel like that. Yeah, it's just old pudding. <laughs> so you gave me some old pudding there. Thank you so much, Desert Raven Gamer. Next would be uh, Jonesy. Jonesy coming in here with the, 19, uh, the, the 19 months. We had 15 from Desert, and we had 19 months from Jonesy there. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate that support. Like I said earlier, you guys help support the stream here. When we take time off to spend with family and, and work and stuff, you guys are always coming back, and it makes us happy to see that. Not, oh, dad joke. Now, I had a joke from a while ago, and I forgot it now. Um... Um, but here, let's go with this. What do you call a deer? What do you call a deer with no eyes? Yeah, it's old chocolate pudding. It was great. Thanks, Desiree Gamer, for making me old chocolate pudding. It was good. What do you call a deer with no eyes? This will, this will, this is gonna set the pace for our Gloomhaven run right here, and the hilarity to come. I'm telling you. What do you call a deer with no eyes? 
What do you call a deer with no eyes? This is out to you, Jonesy. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what they. I don't know how you say deer in the language you speak, sir. But uh, what do you call a deer with no eyes? A hjort? That's how you say deer. What do you call a hjort with no hjort? <laughs> What do you call a deer with no eyes? Uh, you ready for it? Deer with no eyes? Yes, JP Rowling got it. No, no idea. <laughs> JP Rowling got it. No idea. I don't know. I don't know what you call it. No idea. I have no idea. No hood short. No, no hood short. No hood short. All right, man, it's time to get into some gloom haven right here. Let's get this audio going. But thank you for that support, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm taking a guess at where I need to be based on the build. But like I said, oh, whoa, we got this up here. Boop. Get that off there. I had to kind of throw So this was a last minute thing. Like I planned. I wasn't sure what I was going to do today. I, I was trying to make time um, to make this happen. So like I said, this is kind of a it's early access one. Never seen it. Only played uh, gloom haven one time through in real life. Um, it's pronounced more like yort. Oh, okay. No yort. No yort. <laughs> I don't know if that works. No idea it works here, but... I don't know. Maybe it works. Okay, so here's Gloomhaven, as you can see on the screen. Welcome to Gloomhaven Early Access, guys. We're still in your looks at access development, so we may run into bugs, crashes, all that good stuff like we see in some of the Handelabra Early Access stuff. Um, and this game right now, you guys can go buy. If you want to get in on Early Access yourself... This is not an exclusive early access thing or anything like that. Special invite. You can go to Steam right now and go. It's $24.99, though. So just be aware. It's not, not the cheapest early access game version to get in on. Um, you don't have all the content yet. But if the price does go up at official release, uh, you will not pay any more than you already paid. So you might be getting a deal at $24.99. But a lot of stuff goes on sale on Steam. Um, but $24.99, uh, and you get this game right now. You can go play it right now. I played a single scenario with another guy's campaign, so my glue hammer skills are mad low. Okay, good. So we're at the same level. And J is pronounced like Y, says Zession. Oh. So Yort. So H-J, the H is silent. Yort. Pronounce Yite? Yort? Yort? Guys, I'm getting a lesson here. You guys are lessening me. Let's see what other things. So... In this version of Gloomhaven Early Access, we have four playable characters, nine enemy classes, standard and elite variants, and only three bosses to take on. Uh, through the roguelike adventure mode. Now, I've read that the roguelike adventure is exclusive to the digital version, of, obviously, as a single-player mode. Um, as digital, to do that, it's a lot easier. Super rad. Super rad. And you can do that right now in early access. Uh, for the first few, we focused on bug fixing, gathering feedback from players. We expect to be adding next player playable character within a few months in the next batch of enemies before the end of the year. Sweet. Good to know. Progression during the access. General, try to avoid making changes that will invalidate your save data. Um, so there's one thing if you guys are saving games and kind of trying to move your way through here you might lose some of your data as we're playing uh, just be aware of that uh, early access man uh, we have lots of ideas to spend our adventure from the community but some of these might require wipe progression that can suck but just be aware of it uh, we'll keep you informed if we think is going to happen and give you time to finish your current adventure sweet sweet they're being courteous um, Jonesy says too many bones has become my favorite board game I know too Many Bones, we heard great things about. And there's actually a really good, apparently, tabletop sim mod for it, Jonesy. So we might have to bust that out sooner than later. Um, tutorial on learning the game. We understand that there are a large number of Gloomhaven pros out of early access. There are some new players who have never experienced the glory of Gloomhaven. If you are indeed new to the game systems, we want to alert you that we, while we have a tutorial, it is still in development and being fleshed out. We highly recommend that you check out some Gloomhaven tips and tricks guides for the board game or content created for the digital version online. They have a little video here. Gameplay or review. So... I assume if I click this button, it's going to pop it out. Gloomhaven, oh my God. the digital ah. adaptation of the most highly rated physical board game of all time by Flaming Foul Studios is not your typical tactical RPG. In Gloomhaven, you lead a party of fearless mercenaries, guiding them through dark and dangerous dungeons in search of untold riches. Put your strategy to the test in unforgiving turn-based combat. Victory belongs only to the most daring players with the sharpest minds. At the start of Early Access, four out of the full roster of 17 mercenaries will be available to build your party. The Crackheart is an expelled member of the proud Savas race, He's who now deprived of their rank, though he still displays terrifying physical strength and can unleash devastating rock attacks. The Brute is the fearless frontliner from the Inox tribes. He never hesitates either to use his raw strength or to demand payment for it. 
The scoundrel is a swift, self-serving assassin, fresh from the city streets. The dungeon's darker corners hide her perfectly until it's time to strike. The Spellweaver is one of the very few chosen Orchid Sages. She left her meditation to bring order to the land with powerful, magical and elemental attacks. Each mercenary has dozens of unique abilities paired to form ability cards. Prepare your deck of cards and equip your heroes carefully before entering a dungeon. You'll need to combine these abilities with clever tactical choices to survive the challenges within, especially the more difficult ones. Inside the halls of the dungeon, every choice you make has life or death consequences. A turn begins with the selection of two ability cards for each character. Each card carries its own initiative score, determining the order of play for the upcoming turn. The choice of your ability cards is therefore of the utmost importance. It will affect your tactical options, the turn order, and your overall strategy. The enemies you face also pack their own set of deadly abilities, drawing their own initiative for the turn. Their abilities vary wildly, ranging from simple melee attacks to powerful spells. For each turn, a character uses one top half and one bottom half from their two selected cards before both cards are discarded. Be careful, as some of the most powerful abilities will be burned instead. They can only be used once per dungeon. Gloomhaven will test both your tactical planning and your control of resources. Remember the golden rule, never run out of cards. Resting will allow you to recover your discarded cards at the cost of burning some precious ones you already have. In Gloomhaven, you fail when all your characters are out of health points or cards left to play. Be prepared to challenge yourself as the game will show you no mercy and the only answer to an untimely death is to come back stronger. In the roguelike mode, you travel from town to town in search of fame and fortune, choosing your own path and stumbling upon the occasional encounter along the way. The tougher the adventure, the greater the reward. As you triumph in these adventures, your mercenaries will find and purchase rare equipment, gain levels, upgrade abilities, and complete objectives, mm. unlocking new parties of mercenaries in the process. And if you dare, you can even try your luck against bosses hidden in the depths of the most dangerous dungeons. Early access starts on July the 17th, but be prepared for an ever-evolving challenge with loads of new content regularly coming your way. Ah. From gloom, only greed and death emerge. Well done, video. So yeah, that's reminding me a lot of that stuff. Jones says I was a scoundrel. Never run out of cards, that's right. And this whole top and bottom thing, the turn order thing, man, I'm just like, it's all coming back as being like, whoa. So this is going to be interesting, guys. This will be interesting to discover uh, and explore. Um, but now the audio's gone. Now it's not playing in the audio. So that'll be cool. Uh, let's see what we get into. Pretty cool trailer. Yeah, it did make me hype too. And it's a kind of cool thing to remind you of like what the, the game's kind of about. Um, but we got to go through this tutorial. I can't. It's locked. It's still in development. Maybe really soon. Okay, so I'm going to rely... <laughs> on you guys I, I wish spencer woke up early he, it's only 7 30 in the east coast of uh, west coast um so i'm gonna rely on you jonesy and your one playthrough so this is gonna be a bumbling learn to play as we grind through this thing all right so we're gonna do this together because it looks like campaign tutorial locked right now multiplayer is locked still in early access modding will be a thing eventually this is gonna be exciting so let's start our adventure huh I don't know if we just lost music or something, but so music is just ambience. Oh, yeah, just simple, simple stuff. All right, so we got our dudes. Looks like we can click around and choose our dudes here. Ever played Darkest Dungeon? Narrator that won pure maze balls. Yeah, yeah, that 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 narrator sounded like a, a dude out of Game of Thrones too. I was trying to think of it as well. Um, but okay, so we've got our brute and our crag heart. Apparently, we can. I thought we had f access to three or four dudes, but it looks at the beginning you only get two. Oh, change party. Ah, here we go. Doom Crushers. We can go Venom Stone. You can't, it looks like you can't make your own, but these are like the, I think the combinations anyway, right? Only possible combinations with three or four dudes. Three, one, two, three. Yeah. Um, so what, what should we start with, guys? Doom Crushers? This seems like probably the way to go, being like melee class. And what they were saying there, you know, melee, our crusher dude, and this dude kind of just being a brute fighter dude. It's always the best way. Yeah, we need a brute tank, don't we? Yeah, this this guy. I think the guy with the shield was our brute tank, was he not? Um, 
and all that. What's up, Black Pag? Yeah, we're going through this without a tutorial because no tutorials available yet, uh, Black Pag. So I don't know what we can do here if they're allowed, if we're allowed. I don't know anything, so I'm not going to customize too much. But I guess this is our starting deck for each character, pre-built starting deck, uh, and that kind of thing. Remembering how to play this game, um, we have various objectives we can choose. Hi, coldest. I'm clicking them, getting nothing here. Getting nothing here. So it looks like our current thing is Bandit Commander, current objective. Um, and we're going to start the game. So hopefully some of you guys got no gold, level one. We're all level ones. I forget what I played when I played with Late Night Tabletop. I was like a level some, like huge level Cragheart, and I had so many things. No objectives in alpha. Okay, said Black. Cool. I mean, this is early access. I believe this is out of beta and alpha now. Or this would be more like beta, right? Did you play the alpha? All right, let's start. Uh, normal is peaceful, 25% less enemies, blessed heroes start as each scenario with two blesses in their deck. I remember blessings are good. Healthy heroes have 25% more health. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> that sounds about our difficulty level. Ah, here we go. While drinking at the Wayward Inn, you overhear snippets of conversation between two town militia. Apparently, a local bandit commander has come into possession of a number of heretical texts, has begun researching necromancy. Ooh. I, I, I feel like there should be music here. I don't know if it, we glitched out the game with the video. <laughs> when we played the trailer, I think it was like... Bah! So just imagine. Ooh. You are well aware that magical research often requires a handy supply of gold. And after asking around, you discover his hideout's whereabouts. The Moonlight Hideout. Morn, Mornlight Hideout. Okay, we gotta get there. Obviously, you were unprepared to assault his base just yet, so you're prepared to leave Wayward and head off to raid some local crypts in search of knowledge and some better equipment. All right, we got to go get Necromancy. Necromancy. Only played physical copy and watched a stream of some guy that tried the game for the first time. Okay, cool. So this is the first digital version. I mean, we played it like we've been... I've said this a few times now. We've played it physically like once at TwitchCon two years ago with Late Night Tabletop, who were like the masters, but got to get back into it. It's been two years since I played this game. Okay, so I guess we have a choice. We can either... Okay, we have choices, guys. Choose a path to settlement. Failing the journey will return you back to the starting village, which is wayward here. All right, so I assume red... Yes, red is three skull, red, hard difficulty. We've got green, which is easy difficulty. Or we've got yellow, which is also easy difficulty, but a little bit harder. Um, and obviously, we reap more gold and XP per difficulty here. Maybe we'll try easy just to get used to the game, huh? <laughs> the remains of an old tavern stands testament to happier times. Raids by bandits and sightings of unmentionable creatures from the petrified forest to the south drove away the owners in recent years. The sign, the happy hearth, creaks. I can't read that. Flawlessly in the breeze. Should we start the journey? Yes. There we go, guys. We're starting our first journey. Okay. Din of razors to get to this tavern. We gotta go... You've heard rumors that this is where a, a group of bandits train their archers. Our task? To kill all the enemies. I like that task. Let's do it. What? Wait, Den of Razors is different than... Bah! Oh, you can go back here. Oh, this is where you buy stuff, right? Once you have gold, you can get new cards and stuff for your gear. Okay, I clicked the wrong button, guys, but I forgot that you can go back to your home in this game. We can buy stuff. We can sell stuff. Yeah, let's sell our let's sell all our stuff. Wait, is that next level plays right now? Guys, we could sell our pleb boots. You know what I mean? Go get some. Okay, <laughs> this is Chris trying to learn the game. Let me just sell all my garbage. Din of razors. Let's go. Let's kill all the enemies. Chris, you don't know those controls. Stop trying to sell your equipment. You come across an elderly wine merchant by the side of the road. One of the wheels of his cart has fallen off, and you see him struggling to put it back on. He doesn't seem to notice you as you approach, but it is clear he hasn't the strength to lift the cart to replace the wheel by himself. Should we help the merchant, rob the wine merchant, or leave? Yeah, sell all starter equipment to play in extremely hard mode. Exactly, dude. Fist and tooth, man. That's how you gotta do it. Kingdom Death style, man. You sell everything off, and then you just fight with your fists. Or you, you get your rock piece, right, that you can use once. Let's play nice today. Should we help the wine merchant? I like wine. Or should we rob him? Let's help the dude. All right, we're helping the dude. Everyone says help him. You tap the wine merchant on the shoulder, startling him enough to make him jump in the air. Gah! Don't sneak up on an old man like that. 
His beady eyes glance around the party. Through a pair of dirty, scratched spectacles, just as you are about to open your mouth to offer assistance, he snaps at you. Are you just going to stand there all day? You there, stop gawping. And lift the cot up. You, you, hold the wheel steady, and on count of three, that is on there. Not after you're done, lift the wheel and... You managed to get the wheel back onto the cart without too much difficulty, although as far as the merchant is concerned, we could have done it more easily without the help of you buffoons. The merchant continues to rant about your ineptitude as he departs without even an uttering of word of thanks. As you are about to leave, you notice a bottle of wine has fallen off the cart into the shrubs by the side of the road. With the merchant already far down the road, you decide to take it as repayment for your assistance and share it amongst the party. Pop that thing open. <laughs> yes. I th Can we still kill him? I thought that was a thing, too. You know what I mean? Like, we helped this dude, and he was a jerk face, so we should have just robbed him. <laughs> I thought I thought you could, like, turn around and make that choice. I remember making a choice like that. Uh, what a jerk, though, right? At least we stole his wine. The wine is some of the finest you've ever tasted. Ah, Feeling invigorated by the fine vintage, you continue down the road. All right, we're wasted, guys. It's early stream. We're already we already got a drink on. Cheers, everyone. Woo! Cheers, everybody. We got a little little goodness there. We've been strengthened by wine. That makes sense. So we got strengthened. What does that mean? Anybody know what that means? Is it, did that give us a potion? I know we had this potion. Did it add cards to our deck or something? Don't forget, wine in this game makes you stronger. So we're... we're should we see that somewhere? Or is this kind of like a side thing that... Uh, yeah, I'm forgetting like how the perks work in this game. Like, don't you get a card you can pull out later or something like that to say like, oh, we have the wine from the merchant uh, as like a healing spell or something, or a healing or something when you want it? Hmm. Don't know. Okay, let's find out what happened to our wine because... Apparently we don't have our wine now. Uh, let's go. Let's go. I want to kill all the enemies. Adventure. Adventure! Adventure! Here, here's the enemies. Here's the music. Okay, so here's our here's our board. We set it up as per the, the game. Now we don't know... Man, this is hard without a tutorial, huh? Especially even if you've played the physical game, you got to figure out how the digital game works. Strengthen, you got an advantage. You draw two cards from the modifier deck and choose the better, says Black Pike. Okay. So I get maybe that'll happen during our combat here. Okay. This tells us what's in our deck. Oh. Okay. Uh, these are the cards in our deck. Uh, what do you think I do? Do I... Oh, it's, it's my turn. I move first, apparently. Um, I see the range is on the left of the card... And the movement is on the right. Uh, if I the attacks are always on the top, and I remember the the healing and blocking and movement are on the bottom um, of the card. You will always draw two, and you pick one of the top and one of the bottom. So yeah, something like that. Okay, so we're learning here. We're grinding here. Black Pack with a sub. Thank you so much, Black Pack. Dude, a Joji just gifted twelve gifts to the channel. What? <laughs> Oh, that's your 12th gift, Jonesy. Just gifted Black Pack. Thank you so much, man. Cheers. Cheers to uh, Jonesy and uh, Black Pack. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much, Jonesy. I, th I thought you just dropped 12 gifts, Jonesy. You dropped 12 over time, but that's amazing, man. I think you're the gift master. You're the gift master, man. Let's spin the wheel. Let's spin the wheel for Black Pack, courtesy of uh, of Jonesy, because I, I'm kind of like at a stumpy point right here as we grind this out. We're, we're going to need the strongest camp together here. <laughs> it's definitely going to need it. Oh, 10 push-ups. I'll be doing those for Lyle at some point. But right now, I need the blood to flow to my brain and not my arms and body. So I owe 10 push-ups, guys. 10 push-ups. I'm going to start a note here uh, to myself. 10. 10. Okay? I owe 10 push-ups at some point during this stream. I will owe it to you, I promise. Um, but for now, I need to figure out how to Bloomhaven. So, can I move this map? No. Can I Can I scroll in and out? Oh, here we go. Does W... Oh, it's tabletop sim controls-ish. It's WASD. Okay, we got WASD. So we got WASD to check out the map, and you can zoom in and out. I don't know... Oh, Q and E rotate. Oh, okay. I like that. Okay, Q and E to rotate our camera. So we've got bad dudes. 
Uh, zero level. Anyone like that's not zero level? No. So we have two bandit guards. We have one, two, three, one, two archers, two guards, and a. What? What? Oh, these are the same two guards, and then a third guard. Okay. All right. Let's try to do something. Um, we're all melee, so I'm just gonna try to. I think we should always try to get these uh, archers taken care of first. I'm gonna come here. Uh, oh, and there's gold over there. That's right, you can pick up loot in the game. These little gold piles must mean we can pick up loot. So, I have to, do I have to move twice or how do I end my turn? Yeah, I'm trying to take out the ranged first. So, we want loot. Do I pick my cards now? Oh, what? Wait, what? Can I pick my cards right now? Any mini who targets one of your adjacent allies when they attack this round targets you with that attack instead. Don't remember, you pick two. I thought you draw two cards. I didn't think you just get to pick two cards. I totally forgot how that how this works. Ugh. Okay. So I get to move once. And this allows me to move four. I kind of want to do this. I don't remember what jump does, but I want to I want to leaping cleave. We're going to kind of do this yellow, guys, because this is a learning stream. We're going to leaping cleave. Uh, I don't know. And, uh... I'm looking for something. I guess shield bash? Okay, now what do I do, you think? Oh, I gotta choose the thing. Okay, let's go with Leaping Cleave, meaning I'm gonna... Oh, that doesn't let me get to him, does it? But I can move three and then shield bash him, right? And wipe one out. So I'm gonna try this. This is just for science, guys. This is bad plays right here. How do I do it? Leaping cleave. I want to move three. Never played. Observe once or twice. When you turn... Okay. After all cards picking according to initial number, this is the player order. Oh, so it's... I'm not done yet. Okay, so I need to pick my other character. Ah. How come I'm able to move now, though? I'm saying where I think I'm going to move, basically. I'm going to go with this. This is literally for science, guys. And that's right. The heart, the higher the card, the the stronger it is, right? Um, let's just do this. Okay, in selection. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be such pleb plays right now. Okay, so you combine them, right? They combined to do a 68, or he drew a 70, so they're going to go last. The later the turn you play. But I think it co it corresponds to, like, if you choose a stronger card, generally your chances of going first are lower, right? Okay, so... I had the lowest of the two cards, which was 13. So I get to go first with Rock Dude. From here. So if I choose this... Target all adjacent enemies. There's no one adjacent. So I... I can either just choose the move to go two. How much health did these guys have? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> Four health. Man, I wanted my other guy to go, man. There can be a really strong card that is fast. Okay. Lower equals quicker. Card number equals initiative. Lower equals quicker. Right. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm already bad mode right now. So I could actually range them. I could heal two, which I don't need to do. But I could do a range three attack at these bros. Because I think with him, I can then move and just beat him up and kill him off, right? Let's get rid of these ra which archers. So this is, this is a bad play. But I'm going to literally use this card for the move. Oh, I can't get there. Hmm. For science. Let's do this. And then I have to pick the top mode, right? Okay, I'm gonna move him there. 
and then I have to do this. All adjacent allies suffer two damage, but I'm going to do this now so I, I won't take any damage. Ah, that sucks that he's the only adjacent enemy, huh? Get wrecked. Look at that. Oh, gold. Woo! Our first kill, guys. So how... So I was only supposed to do three damage. They have four health. How did I do four damage? Anybody know? Like, is that based on my modifier, probably? My, uh, my gear or something? During your melee attack, add stun to the entire attack action. I mean, I guess we just don't know. Somehow I was able to do four damage, though. Which is rad. Wine? Crit? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wine gives you crits, dude. Good call. I don't know why the people are going crazy. You guys are closet. All right. That was a crit no from Eric. Yeah, probably the wine. I would assume maybe the wine's giving us plus one damage. Okay. Uh, in Craghart's turn. Then it's my turn. Um, okay, so let's wreck these bros, right? Let's go wreck this other dude. So if I move three, I can just rock this ar ar archer. Um, how do you, uh, how do you know your range? Like, I see this attack four with stun. If you hover over the, the two swords icon, you can see the cards in your attack modifier deck. Oh, for real? Uh, oh, I, I can't see the cards, but they're there. That's right. You do have an attack modifier deck. So I'm drawing from this every time I attack. That's right. We have... That's right. I remember this deck now. It just looks different this way. Okay. No range equals melee. Oh, I see over here, right? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is going to be a little rough, but I appreciate everyone helping. So I need to get next to him. So let's do the move. I don't know what jump means, but we're doing it. We're moving here. Confirm movement. Mm hmm. What? Move. Go. Do it. Can't. I can't move. Oh, I have to choose the next thing. Nope. Confirm. 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 What's going on, man? Why can't move? Attack. Move. Undo waypoint. Move. I can't move there. Huh? Why can't I move there? Because it's rocks. Ah, because the rocks. Ah, this totally screws up our uh, technique here. Well, this is bad. But I can jump, right? Isn't that what this jump thing allows me to do? Can you share a space with somebody? No. Okay, we're learning, guys. Uh, I don't want to die, dude. I'm going to die if I don't do this right. Okay, 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 okay. Undo waypoint. We're going to go here then. Ah, we're going to get this gold and rock this, bro. Ooh, look at that. I'm crazy. I'm crazy good. All right, we're going to get this gold. Can't end on obstacles. All right. Um, let's destroy this dude. Let's attack him. Can I hit multiple targets? Do these two dots mean I can hit multiple targets, apparently? Probably. Here we go. Oh, it's a crit. How do I get this gold? You can't land on Octomate Space, but with jump, you can move through it. Okay. So I could have moved through it if I was closer. Gotcha. We got rich, guys. Get rich. Choose how Cragheart will be damaged. I can receive five damage. Choose to take damage. Oh, here we go. Deal damage phase. Choose to take damage. Lose one available card or lose two discarded cards. <gasps> Shield bass. That looked like a sword thrust. <laughs> I know, right? He just jammed his... Okay, so I'm going to take damage from this archer, which I wanted to kill but couldn't. Um, what's the better thing? Oh, I have 12 health. 
That's my health. Ooh, that's like half dead. I mean, one card? Do we care about one card? We get this back, right? I get this card back, right? Yo, what up, Lyle? Lyle says, yo, what this? This Gloomhaven, son? What? Gloomhaven Digital Early Access. I'm trying to play it without a tutorial because they don't have one available. So this is the challenge, but the camp is helping. Okay, I can do get them back at the end. Okay, I'm going to burn a card, dude. I don't care about my cards. What don't we like? What's a good card to burn? What's a recommended card to burn? What's a pleb card? This one looks good. Ranged attacks? Uh, I don't want this, right? I don't even have a ranged weapon. Pfft. Done. <laughs> yeah, Lyle didn't wake up for stream, so he missed stream, guys. That's exactly what happened. All right, so they moved in the round. So they are melee. This dude sucks. Um, now we're choosing turn order, right? We can I can go whichever one I want based on card lowest card choice priority. So I'm going to grab this money, dude. We need money. And we need to move and do like a uh, swingy to... <gasps> Sweeping blow. Oh, these guys are so dead right now. All right, I'm going to use... I'm going to use grab and go for the move. And I'm going to use sweeping blow uh, to take out these two sorty guys. Uh, oh, crap. I'll be 87, though. Do you go by your highest or lowest card? It's probably your highest, right? Yeah, I already did Lyle's bean, Jonesy, but I do owe Lyle's push-ups. Yeah, and Jonesy gifted Black Bag a sub. Lyle, you should do some push-ups at home. We'll trust that you're at the beach doing push-ups, dude. What up, Sean? Just got here, but we can assume he's rolling twos. Uh, dude, you don't roll twos. You draw twos in this game, right? All right, so this guy needs to wreck this uh, archer bro over here. So we need a move, and we need a crush. Oh, this would have been great if they were next to each other. They're not... Create two single hex obstacles and empty hexes adjacent. Oh, this dude can make rock walls, dude. Oh, sick. Crater. Okay, we just need something that can crush this dude. Oh, I can destroy obstacles, too. Very cool. Target all enemies moved through. Crushing grasp. I think, I think we'll do crushing grasp so I can attack... And uh, we'll do rumbling advance for the movement. So they're going to go first. Great. Awesome. They're going to hurt us. Got it. So at least this archer is going to hurt me first, right? Ow! What? Bear trap. Oh, you're so wrecked, dude. You think you can set a little bear trap for me? Um, we're going to use this... No, we're gonna use this to move, right? All Jason. So we're gonna move. We're gonna move with this. Can, right? Yeah. We're gonna move with that, and then we're gonna crushing, just wreck this dude, right? Oh, what? I have to. I have to move too. Wait, I can open the door? That seems like a bad idea. Is it bad to open the door? Is this like Zombicide? I forget. I can't. Or I can skip the movement. Okay, here we go. Skip movement. Ah, get wrecked. Oh, you're so done, dude. Oh, you're so dead right now. You're so freaking dead. Oh, you're so dead right now. Confirmed. Wow, that's awkward. So anytime I end on money, I just get it, huh? <laughs> and does her trap go away if I killed her? Yeah, I totally saw you set that trap. Wait, no, you didn't. Yeah, she just got wrecked, dude. Um, Yeah, look at this stupid little trap. In Crackheart's turn. Ooh. Um, I think they're going to die really badly, so I'm just going to burn a card if we get these back after this scenario. I'm just going to burn... Man, I just don't know. Yeah, I'm going to prov provoking roar. 
I'm not taking any damage. Never open a door before clearing mobs. Okay. Ow. Uh, it's only one damage. I'll take the damage, dude. Okay, we took a damage, guys. First damage. Survival tip number 37. Oh. It's good, a lot of good things. Activate one half of either card, says. Okay, let's do that. Look at all this gold. It's so... It's so... Okay, so... I don't want to move. I like where I am. If I move four, I guess I go one, two, three, four. Oh, there's a trap right here. If I chose to move, I can attack first. That's right. I should just attack first. If I can loot the room before I leave, right? But do I lose cards when I do that? Because I don't want to leave all this gold sitting here. This is like, I only have four gold. I'm like poor as butts. I'm going to attack first. And then... Yeah. I'm going to attack first. Oh, that was so lame. It was a pleb attack. All right. We got to go four. We got to run, boys. Let's run. They're all melee. I'd like to run over here, but I guess I can't. Apparently, you can't run over there. Um, here would put me in range. Yeah, I'm just going to run over here. Look at this scaredy cat, man. Such a wuss. Okay. What's my little bag do for me? Anybody know? What? What's this thing do? Oh, a minor healing potion. Okay. During your turn, you heal three. But that goes away. to discard. All right, let's pick a thing. Long rest. Choose one discarded card to become lost to recover all other discarded cards. Heal two health. Refresh all your spent item cards. I haven't done that. By choosing to long rest, you will not be able to select another card for this round. Okay. Okay, I'm getting these camera... I wish I could use right click to uh, like tabletop sim style. That's what I keep trying to do. Um, I just want these dudes to, to crush it, dude. This guy just needs to come over and wreck them, right? Mm. Ooh, this avalanche attack on these guys would be pretty good. But I have to walk through this trap, right? Didn't I have one where I could jump or move four? One, two, three. <gasps> one, two. Three, four. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do a four move. Let's do boulder. Do I get my cards back once I go through this door? An avalanche with this dude. This is what we're going to do. He's got 87, which is probably not going to go well for me. Um, I have a pretty low card here. Retaliate two, whatever that means. Gain... 1 XP for each time you retaliate this round. Uh, so I need to move up on these guys and hurt them. Basically, if I go first... I'm 1, 2 away, right? 1, 2, 3. Is there one that gives me 3 movement? Okay, so we're going to go with this. Overwhelming Assault. And then I'm just going to... Sp I'm trying to get a low number so he can just go first and wipe him out anyway. There we go. 61? Oh, it's your highest card. That's right. Arr. So maybe not Overwhelming Assault. There must be a better one for movement. That gives me move three. There isn't. There isn't. Okay, I think this is just our choice. This is just our life, guys. Ooh, I get to go first. Oh, it's not the highest. It's the one I choose first. Oh. Dang it. No. I'm remembering all this stuff, man. Okay, so the bandit guard is 35. Got it. Um, So our dude who we wanted to go first gets to go first. Awesome. I'm going to go move three. And then push two. If I do this, will it push him? I hope it pushes adjacent. 
Oh, only target one adjacent enemy. Hmm. How do I get rid of this trap, man? Well, none of these push these guys too, right? Ah, oh, that sucks. He's higher health, so let's push him. Actually, oh, I should have just killed him. Yeah, whatever. This will guarantee the kill, right? Oh, I do have ranged attack, huh? Whatever. Just learning. Ne not next. What? Oh, did he draw something that blocked it? Ah! Okay, we're gonna get hurt. It's their turn. Ow. He threw something in my face. Receive two damage. Burn two discarded cards. Burn one available card. Uh, I'll take two damage. Ow. Dude, I'm bad. This is hard. Um. So burning cards is probably like the worst. Let's do it for science. What's one of my pleb cards here? Let's get rid of grab and go. I like that card. Uh, a spare dagger? When you attack with ranged ability, you have dis disadvantage. You draw two cards from modifier deck and choose the lowest. Ah, good to know. Good to know. Thank you. I guess it's kind of like in the digital version here, it's not really showing us the modifier draws, huh? It's just kind of like assume it's doing it for us. Or maybe I'm just missing it. Okay, so if I go over this bear trap, I will take three damage. With movement four, zoom up here. With movement four, I can go one, two, three... Four. What's this little thing do? What's this little leaf mean? It says down. I'm going to lose it. What's a leaf? What is the leaf? Leaf down. Is that XP or something? Hmm. Okay, or I can do attack three, range three. All allies and enemies adjacent to the target suffer one damage. Okay, there's no allies adjacent to the target that I want to hit here. Um, I just want to wreck one of these dudes. So if I go one, two... Um... If I just move with this card, one, two... I don't have range three to him, do I? Oh, I'm in a bad way, dude. Leaf on right side of screen. Yeah, what does this do? What does this leaf mean? I can't click it or nothing. I am just as confused as Jones. Yeah, what's this little leaf do? I don't know. Man, I need, you know. Oh, jeez. Okay, what's the best choice here? Move four. One. I wish I could go through this trap, but... I can't, or I'll die, or at least I'll take three damage. But if I do that, I can kill this guy off and we'll take less damage ultimately. So I'm actually thinking because of my bad plays, I deserve to walk through this bear trap. Of course, I have a feeling it's gonna stop me if I do that, but that could be okay. Like massive boulder, some, some cards use elements for better effects like avalanche. All right, I guess I just don't know how many elements I have yet. Okay, how do I... I'm gonna... I picked two bad cards here. We need to strategically set this up. One, two, three, four. One, two. And then I could range at three, but I still miss. If I move one, one, two, three, I could range this guy over here with two health. So maybe I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go two. Oh no, I'm gonna go two here. Or, oh, oh, no, 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 let's do something strategic, undo. If I move, if I move four, one, two, three, four, and I create an obstacle on these two hexes here, this guy can't get to us, and this guy's the one we have to deal with, right? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move here. 
We're going the long game, dude. We're going long game. We're running out of cards, though, which is what we know is not a good... Oh, I can't choose the to bottom. Ah! Oh, oh, so bad. Ah! Oh. All the elements are for two turns. See, at the right, you have Earth Element is half used because you cast it at last turn. Oh, it fills up. I see what you're saying. So this will take away, now that I, bit, I played bad. I can't skip the attack phase, huh? And I can clear. That sucks. That sucks. I totally just rushed into that thinking I could choose two movement cards. <sighs> okay, we're running out of cards, guys. But I think we're going to win it right here. Because I, I kept my low my low level cards. On the next six sources of damage from attacks target, you gain one shield. I want this guy dead, dude. I want to kill this guy so bad. So if I choose eye for an eye first... And then trample. We'll try this. And then he will go. Ah, oh, just blue cards, man. Um, I assume an obstacle is also a trap. Yeah. Uh, dirt tornado. Move three. I just want these guys to be a blowed up, dude. All right, let's go with... No, no, no. Let's go with opposing strikes. You always want to choose the lower card first, right? Let's try this. Is there friendly fire, too? I forget. Okay, bandit guard is going second. So, horns boy here. Um, I just want to wreck one of these guys, dude. Gain one every time you retaliate. Heal two, range one. I won't hit him there. If I move two... Or like one, if I can get right here on this gold, I'll get some gold, plus I can attack this bro. So if I move with my heal thing, move two here, and then just crush him for three. Plus piercing, which I guess is good stuff. This guarantees the kill, right? Yeah, let's do this. Let's go there. Attack. Oh, skip movement. I'm done moving. Attack. Here. Confirm. Yes, get wrecked. Oh! Easiest game I ever played. Easiest game I ever played. He hit me for one damage. I'm taking a damage because I haven't taken any damage with this bro. Oh, you're so dead, dude. You're so dead. So I have to do three damage to this guy. Um, which I'll just do with this, right? Yeah. This guy never die, man. This guy's impossible to beat. Um, let's run here. That way we get some gold, and he has to come to us. But I guess he could kind of mill us, right? He could kind of deck us out. Is that a thing they can do to you? Uh-oh. We have one card left, guys. Because I burned all my cards like a pleb. So, short rest. Lose one discarded card at random in order to recover all other discarded cards? Yeah! I think this is our time for a short rest, right? Otherwise... I can only move or attack, and he's so far away. So let's do a short rest. Yes. So does burn mean I'm losing it permanently?
By the way, you can see above the enemy when you attack him, your damage, which is your attack plus attack modifier. Okay. Yeah, I did see that in the little numbers there. Okay, I'll look closer. I'll try to keep an eye on that next time. So I just burned a card. Jeez. This is savage. Um, ooh. Oh, I guess I didn't maybe have to do that, right? Whatever. I have a feeling we're going to go through this door over here, and it's not going to go well for me. Um, he only has one health, so as long as we get a good modifier, we should be good. So I'm going to go Rock Tunnel Crater and hope that... What? I'm not done? Oh, he gets to choose some stuff now that I did that. Uh, whatever. We're going to go... Eye for an eye. Warding strength. We're better than you. Get wrecked, dude. Okay, so we're faster than him. So he needs to die. I just need to move. I need to move one, two, and then just crush him. So let's do that. Let's just go here. Ooh, look at that. I could range. If I move to this gold and I range him from there, I'm going to get this gold, right? Whatever. Let's see. I just want this battle to be done. And then fight him. Confirm. So I got plus one attack. Doom crushed him. Yes, we killed all the dudes. What up, you four? Glute Haven. Did you guys play the physical? Yes, we did it with Late Night Tabletop a couple of years ago. It was the last time I played. But uh, yeah, this is right now first player digital mode, early access. Only one player. Only one player game right now. <coughs> Co-op will be amazing if it comes out in the future, but this is still early access. Day one literally came out last night at midnight. Um, so any help is appreciated. Black Pack is being very helpful. I can heal in range. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. So n now I'm down to cards and we're just gonna have to keep moving here, huh? Um, can I jump over this? All adjacent allies and enemies suffer one damage. Move four, jump all adjacent enemies. Yeah, it came out today like five hours ago. So if I move with this, can I jump over this uh, bear trap? And then I could rock tunnel. Like if I use this, can I jump over this bear trap for science? Do I do this for science? Okay. Now if I do this... Oh, I could jump over the obstacle. This stops me. Okay, I see. But if I, because I'm using jump, I can go over the obstacle here. We're gonna we're gonna do this to help our bro out. Look at that Sandman style, dude. Sandman. Um, and then I can destroy an obstacle and get an exp. No, uh, skip movement. Ah, and then it does damage. At the end. Okay. Let's destroy this obstacle. Get it out of the way. <laughs> Even though everything's done. Just want to do this for fun. Yeah! Get wrecked! Some cards on the bottom right have a little icon. This means that if you use the main ability, not the default, like move two, you burn it. Ah, that this little card here. Yes, that that's something I do remember. So if I use the... If I just use the pleb abilities, they don't get discarded. When you say burn, that means discarded, right? Get rich. All right, we did it, guys. Woo! We cleared all the enemies. We crushed the thing. So now I can use these cards just to move, I think is what we're saying, right? And there's no... I mean, there is a priority, but it's not that big a deal. I'm just going to use them for their two move. Or I could use this one for three move and stuff like that. No burn means remove until end of scenario. So... But burn burn means I lost it. Like that's, I remember that this is like, you know, it's like a legacy style. It has that legacy style, right? Removed until rest. Okay, no burn equals removed until end of scenario. Discarded means removed until rest. And then burn means gone forever. Until you buy it, buy it back. Okay, let's go leaping cleave so we can run up to our dude. Oh, we got move here. 
We need to go one, two, three. I need to open this door. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, he's in my way. One, two, three, four. Burn, remove, until end of scenario. Oh, you mean no burn means not removed until... Lost is lost forever, though. Huh. Okay, let's try trample. Well, I'm just going to move four. I'm just going to use these for their movement anyway. Okay. So how do I open this door? Oh, I can't do anything. Choose one discard to, to become lost and recover all other cards. I heal... So I'm just going to do a short rest. Lose one discarded card at random in order to recover. They change the lost keyword to burn. Okay, so if I do short rest, like I'm thinking long rest might be, but I don't want to heal that much. Yeah. I'm going to lose opposing strike. Fine. So if I hit burn, this is gone forever? Or only, like, you're saying burn is removed till the end of the scenario. There's no consistency. Okay, so, just to be clear, if I hit burn, I'm going to get this card back. Like, this isn't the legacy, I mean, this isn't the legacy portion. Okay, okay, so burn is gone until the scenario is over. That's why it's red. That's why it's red. I'm not getting this back. When it's brown, that means I'm going to get it back. Okay, gotcha. Uh, how do I open a door? Just move through it? I like Dork Tornado. Uh, move five. I don't know. There's no one to compete with, so I'm kind of just trying to find something. Okay, so I'm going first. I need to move through this door, dude. I don't want to burn. I just want to use this. Go. Go. Open door. Got it. We opened our first door, guys. Woo! Great. Doors are so easy in this game. How do I move around? All right, here we go. Use all key presses to move around in this game. Ooh, I could do range, though. Range five. To do two attack to these huge bros. Okay, this guy's four. This guy's five. They look pretty solid. This is our archer. Okay, we need to wreck this archer. Um, hmm. Do I want to keep moving? Skip movement. I'm going to stay in this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm stuck there now, aren't I? Now my guy can't come through and help me. I chose poorly. But this... Oh, I don't have any... Leafs. Oh, God. I only did one damage, too. All right. I'm choosing bad. Pleb, pleb mode choices. <sighs> Receive two damage. Ah, oh, really, dude? Ha-ha! <laughs> modified. Oh, no. I thought I did good. <sighs> Let's burn an available card since we have five. Rather than just keep getting wrecked here. Let's get rid of Crushing Grasp. Alright, so that's gone till the end of the scenario, right? What? Oh, he strengthened up. Strengthened himself. If you attack with range ability, someone who is in melee, you get disadvantage. Ah, good to know. Good to know. Crit knows. Crit no. Good to know. Ah. Everybody, Dad's peeking in. Everybody, say hello. We've got viewers from Europe. Hello. Say hello to Mr. Chris. Howdy, 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 howdy. 
Mr. Camp, Mr. Camp's popping in to say hello. He's saying what's going on. I'm gonna mute it just for a second here, but uh, everyone say what's up. There's chat over here. They're saying what's up. We got people all over from Europe, the EU, saying hello. Right. Nobody from Canada. Nobody from anybody from Canada on right now? I don't think so. Jonesy over in Sweden, Asia. Your forks here from Asia right now. This is the chat right here. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, Eric Laws is here from Montreal. Aha. There we go. What's up, says Jonesy. <laughs> You're visiting down from uh, Europe. Jonesy, where in Europe are you? Did you just say? I am not freaking Swedish. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Denmark. That's right, Denmark. And Sky Jedi's in Minnesota, so that's sort of Canada. So Sky Jedi. That's close. Yeah, we're, we're grinding through a new game called Gloomhaven, so everyone in chat's helping me today. Yeah, Crit Pop. <laughs> that's right, Crit Pop. He's visiting here. Checking it out. Checking out the studio here. Uh, they're helping me figure out Gloomhaven. It's this digitized game. Uh, really deep, big game, but... Yeah, doing poorly. Oh. Doing poorly. You guys are losing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's not much of a game player, Jonesy. <laughs> he's he's kind of like, you play, he'll play. We played um, Medium. Medium yeah. we, I showed him Medium, which we're going to be doing on the 22nd, and then we played uh, The Mind. Yeah, yeah. Very good games. Um, we haven't played anything else, really, since you've been... No, we haven't done anything else yet, so we got to get him on something. I was thinking of uh, I was thinking of some Azul. We're going to maybe show Azul. I was thinking of trying Wingspan. Uh, Saikatsu I've done with my mom. I was thinking of Keyforge. <laughs> yeah, Keyforge. Everyone's going to get crazy of Keyforge, but... Uh, all that good stuff, but... Keep on gaming. All right, you're taking the car? Yeah. Okay, you know, you know where you're going? No, just ask me. All right, all right. I'll see you in just a little bit. Game okay, on. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> There's the crit dad. Start with Zombicide. Set up over here. Maybe we could do that scenario with him before... Uh, maybe he could help me figure it out before <laughs> everything else. <laughs> Wingspan is hard for non-gamers, I think, says Jones. Yeah. I just really want to show him the uh, wingspan. I think my mom would get it a little bit more than my dad. Um, but my dad, I don't know. My dad might figure out wingspan a little bit more in terms of engine building. Azul is always good. My five-year-old can kind of play Azul and do well just because of the sort of RNG of it all. Um, but yeah, they came down here. We're checking out all the, the games. Uh, and I was like, so, uh, and he's like, what? Where do we even start? And I was like, well, there's all kinds of different games in here. So, um, yeah, I could, I, we could Zombicide. They might, they might like the Zombicide. We can teach Zombicide really easy. I mean, but that's also because I've played so much Zombicide um, that I feel it's easy to learn because I'm biased on that. <laughs> um, so we got a problem, dude. We got problems, guys. We got problems. Because I'm bad, and I decided to strategically place myself right in this doorway. Can I jump over myself? One, two, three... Would jump allow me to pass through? But I've got to do there, so I can't do that. Can I shoot through? No. Did I mess up pretty badly here? Uh, maybe I'll just grab some gold? You can move through friendly characters. But I can't land on the same space, right? Have boots for plus movement? Oh, during your movement, add plus two move to a single movement. Oh, crit nose. Good call, Mazu. What's going on? Crit Even without jump. So one, two, three. So if I do my big move of four, I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Can I move through enemy characters? Do I have to click those boots to use them? I think that's just default, right? Oh, you can. I have to activate it to a single movement. I have to, I have to like, expo exhaust it. Yeah, the music is pretty good. So, can't move through the enemy, though. So I'd have to move on to this trap. She put this trap here because she's a jerk. Okay, and it looks like they blocked me out. So I need to... If I do this, I target all enemies moved through. Okay, so here I can do it. Okay, so I see what I gotta do. So I can use this move with my boots to then set up for this attack. All right, that's what we're doing. Do I click the boots first? No, I click this first. Now I click the boots, it's glowing. Got it, activate it. Now I can go, so you set your waypoints, right? I can go here, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, 
six? Like, I kind of want to go there, right? But not through the trap. So here... Yeah, I want to get here. So this is actually going to hurt him. Nice. And then we can attack him. And this doesn't actually... So that one's going to get burned now because I used the special ability. But now I'm going to use this to attack this bro. Oh, yeah. Did it kill him? What? Oh, he modified it. Only walls block, block line of sight. So you can shoot through fiends and enemies if needed. Okay, I had to step away for a meeting. What did I miss? Uh, you missed me trying to get into a room and figuring out how movement works. Oh, no, that was my... Oh, he blocked my two attack from moving through him. I can still do my three attack. Yes. Oh, almost got him. Almost. All right, we're going to get beat up here. We need to go first. Sweeping blow almost gives me that straight up attack, but I could move and push this dude. Okay, I could wreck this dude with him with 64. I think that's a good choice. Then with this dude, we just need to make sure we go first. I mean, we don't have to go first, right? But I kind of just want to wreck her. So if I go one, two. So I won't get a disadvantage of ranging her if I use to use this attack and heal, which is kind of cool. But I'm going to save that for later. I'm thinking of just using... Oh, this is this guy. Whoops. What did I choose for him? Okay, so he's going to... Uh, I almost need him to just move. Oh, yeah. If I can go first with him and I can move and push her onto the... Can I push her onto the trap? What up? Oh, here's Spencer's in chat, guys. Woo! Late night tabletop has made it. There he is. We were talking about Spencer earlier, saying the last time I even played this game was with you two years ago at TwitchCon. Right there. Old school throwback. So Spencer's now in chat. Black Pack's been very helpful. Everyone's being very helpful. Um, helping me out, trying to survive this dude. So now we've got more knowledge. First guy only has one card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First guy has one card. My little... This guy here only has one card. So I'm thinking I could actually move him and push this archer into the trap if I can do that. Need to short rest with the brute. Oh, I'm not allowed to use just one card? It has been so long, dude. I'm playing one of the guys... I think you had me play Cragheart, Spence, when we were there. Yeah, same here, Heroic. It pops up right above them. You always have to be able to play two cards. Oh, so I don't get a choice. I have to short rest. Oh, uh, but... Yeah, I guess if that's the rules. Leaping Cleave. Oof. Or just do a damage if I don't want to lose that. I kind of like that. I kind of like that card. I kind of like this card. Redraw? I mean, what else am I going to lose? Eye for an eye, warding. I kind of don't mind losing. Oh, I was hoping I'd get eye for an eye. Yeah, burn warding strength. I am so getting wrecked right now. All right, short rest. Now I get to choose more cards because I took a short rest and took damage. Great. All right, now I have to do my thing. So can I push her into this trap? Because I'm going to... I will sweeping blow... And wreck her with this. Oh, this. I don't know what retaliate does. I don't know what retaliate does. What's this do? I can heal for three. Okay, that's actually not a bad thing. Okay, I'm going to eye for an eye. We'll set him up for eye for an eye. This dude is just going to go. He's going to do his sweepy thing. Ooh, I want this attack. Um... My movement thing. Okay, I can go this and this. Let's see what happens. 
Okay, cool. All right. It's not perfect, but whatever. It's going to be crazy. Thank you for streaming this, says Magnetic Llama. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I was I was a little weary about doing it because uh, there was some weird uh, other thing, but I saw other people streaming it, so I figured um, Asthma Day wasn't getting too mad about it. Um, plus, it's, I'm learning, so it's good advertising for them. Yeah, we are throwing stones around. Is it just one versus all in this scenario or in general for this game where we have a party? I have two dudes. I don't know if that... It said it's a party, but it's a... Uh, Single player. You can't do co-op. I think co-op's coming eventually. I can't say that 100%. Move someone further away from you. Uh, okay. Yeah, I hope it helps, Magnetic, because I'm just learning and the tutorial isn't up yet. Want to be able to choose my equipment, says Heroic. Yeah, I don't think you can do that, right? So, what's... Uh, oh, that's the order. Uh, yeah, because there's no tutorial, you guys are helping me dramatically since there's no tutorial. Um, okay, so I guess I have to attack. I'm going to attack this dude first. Let's wreck him. Ah, that's a crit. Oh, no. Oh, I don't have to do this thing. I can just do the walk thing, right? Yes, okay. I can just walk and not worry about... I don't have to worry about suffering damage or nothing. Okay, so we're done. Skip movement. In my turn. We're going to get shot with an arrow. Get rich? Ah! Oh! Um. So if I burn discarded cards, those are these gray ones. I'll receive two damage. I'm fine with that. Okay, this dude here. We just need to wreck her as power. What, what's the most damage I can do? Three? Two? Two plus nothing? So the most damage I can do is two damage. So I'm not going to be able to kill her, right? Is that... Did I just totally miscalculate this whole turn here? So if I move... Didn't you want to rush... Push her? I did. I did want to push her. I, want, I thought I could push her into this... Uh, I thought if I went first, she would get pushed into this bear trap. Excellent. Where, like, I would be chilling. Oh, welcome to Best Camp on Twitch, Derek Kaiser. Welcome, welcome. Like, I thought I could move here, push her into this trap, and then my dude would go second, and then we could, like, attack her. With a good attack modifier, we can we can take her out. Okay. So maybe I do... Maybe healing is... I don't get to move, though. I need to move. So if I move here, and then attack with this sweeping blow, I think that's my best bet. Maybe the modifier will work for me, is what everyone's saying. Okay. So I'm going to move here. What? What? Oh, right-click cancels. FYI. I'm going to move here. Dun, 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 dun. And then let's attack. Okay, guys, one time. <laughs> All right. I have to do a short rest, right? Isn't this what we learned with Brute? I have to do a short rest to get these two cards back. Yeah, minus one, exactly. Welcome to the best camp on Twitch. Dang it. So, I don't have a choice here. With with the Brute, I have to short rest, right? Or long rest. I mean, this is the only thing I can do. Long rest, I... What do I do? What's the big penalty? Choose a discarded card to become lost. And that's gone forever, right? It's gone forever. Forever, ever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever. Like, rest of the game, forever, ever. But eventually, that gets me all these red cards back. Hmm. I don't know what the choice is here. I don't know... Let's try long rest for, for science. Long rest. How do I do this? Whoa, no. Long rest. Oh, it's part of a card choice. Okay, leaping cave, long rest. Oh. Long rest is the only card you can choose. Okay, that's my card. 99, so I'm going last no matter what. I get it. 
Learning, learning. Um, let's hope this dude can wreck it, right? Wreck it Ralph style right here. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's go leave this and this. <sighs> All right, so we're going to take some hits. Gotcha. <laughs> Was that him long resting, apparently? What, what, what? What did she just do to me? Oh, she immobilized me. What, how can, how, does that mean I just can't move? I can't see. It, it's saying I'm immobilized, but I assume I'm immobile now. I got immobilized. I'm just, just wondering where all this stuff is. All right, so now that I, she's like right next to me, we can just destroy her with uh, with this. Let's do massive boulder. Right here. Let's drop a massive boulder, guys. Here we go. And screw that archer, dude. Can't move. You're immobilized on your turn. Makes sense. Get wrecked. And all I'm going to do is step here. You have to end your turn on gold to claim it, right? I can't walk through it and say I claimed it. Like, picked it up on the way. <laughs> or just crush her with a giant boulder. Yeah. Oh, the trap does hurt her? Dude, I want to do the trap push. I was asking that. I wanted to know if I could kill her with the trap. Ludas. I thought the trap only hurt me. Like, if I could push them into it, that would be freaking awesome. I want I want the cool like diehard kills. Right, that's I've learned that as well, heroic. That you do you get disadvantage against melee adjacent targets. But I'm just wondering about loot. If I walk through loot, do I get it or do I have to end my turn on loot before I skip my movement here? Also, I'm going to move closer. Anybody know? You walk through loot, do you get it or is, do you have to end on the space for loot? I'm sorry to hold us up on this. You have to end your turn on it. Okay, cool. Skip my movement then. Okay, so I want my gold, man, because I'm, I'm feeling I'm losing all my cards. All right. Uh, select an ability card to lose, then gain two health. Oh, is this an ability card? Uh, I'm going to lose this one. Wait, what? That's healing. I have to choose. Long rest. Select an ability card. I assume these are the ability cards. Okay, I can choose any of these, apparently. Okay, done. Cool. End on loot. Scoundrel card has card ability to pick up loot and move through. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. Going home for reels. All right, thanks for the help, Black Pag. Appreciate you hanging out, man. That was awesome. You've been helping. All right, cool. In round. Guys, we're, we're making our way here. We're doing it slowly but surely. Uh, it's movement time. Or is this kind of like a prep turn? Oh, I have to, like, long rest here. Craghart's going to have to long rest, so that's an easy choice. Um, We don't know what's on the other side of this door. How long is this scenario? Is this, is this bar up here telling me how far along I am? Maybe this is good. I'm going to go... I have no one to compete with, so I'm going to do these two. Let's do... Move three. What? How do I open the door? Ah! Science. Science. And then I can push them. Can I push them into an obstacle? Does that hurt them? Oh, they're both archers. Dang. I want to kill this archer here. Six and four. All right, so I'm going to do this. But that'll push her out of range, right? I have my boots back now. Oh, I can add some space to my boots. But I can't jump through anything. So if I go through, I have two more movement left, I believe. So um, 
if I go, if I add my boots, I can go like one, two. I kind of want to push. I want to push this guy back, but I can't get around him. Ugh. Pushing into an obstacle does hurt them for certain characters. Really? Like, I'm wondering if I could push this this guy into this obstacle if I go here and I don't have to expel my boots. It is Gloomhaven, the number one rated board game of all time. By Isaac Childress. Streamed perfectly by Late Night Tabletop. RL. Streamed. Um, not now though. Yeah. Okay. So I'm. I think I'm gonna go here and throw him into this board. I'm gonna try. Yo, it's Vorpal. You know I'm here for this. <laughs> yeah. Right. L watch me uh, struggle through this without the Vorpal board, dude. Without the Vorpal board, I'm gonna try to push this guy into an obstacle. If you push an enemy away, you won't be able to attack. I know. That's why I want to push him in the obstacle. And there's no back. There's no like go back button. Except undo movement. So if I do this and I push this enemy here, I want to push this dude into this, or this 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 archer lady, or it's a dude, it's an archer lady. I think it's a lady. It might be a dude. Push him into this. No, I want to push him into this next to me, and then I can punch him with this. All right. So undo waypoint. So I should go here and push to the door, right? Let's do this. I just really want to go like Bruce Willis style and push him into stuff. Okay. Oh, I didn't push. What? 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 How come I couldn't push? I've used move three, push. Wouldn't let me push this dude. Whatever. We're going to attack him. Ooh, I can attack a barrel? No, no, no. This ain't Zelda. All right, let's go. Modifier plus nothing. Wah. Okay, Brute's done. Push has to be in a hex further away since they... Ow. What is this chick? Bandit Archer Elite? I'm fighting the wrong thing here, man. I had nowhere to push him. Yeah, I thought, I thought this was like... I could slide him along the wall or something. I think I'm thinking Kingdom Death too much. I think I'm thinking Kingdom Death. Ow! Take the damage, take the damage. Okay, we're gonna have to do some healing, guys. Healing time soon. I have so many, so many cards. One, two, three, four. What do these do for me? During your melee attack, stun to... Oh yeah, add stun. Stun probably good, right? During your melee attack, add stun to the entire attack action. So these are the same. Same war. D Dually Warhammers. One, two, three, four, five. I need to go five. Oh. Wait. Yes. Can I even select these? They look like I can't select them. Die, die, die. Yeah, I want them to die. Is there a reason it feels like, oh, I'm in long rest? No. So what's a good card to get rid of? What do people recommend getting rid of? Use Crag Heart to DPS. Okay. He's just a body. Yeah, I think I'm starting to realize this. What's what, what's a card I should generally like get rid of? I think I'm going to get rid of Massive Boulder because I feel like I'm always going to hurt myself with that. All right, guys. Here we go. Oh, now Brute has to long rest. All right, let's long rest the Brute. We got to get the cards. We got to get cards. Got to get cards. Got to long rest. Okay, where's my big card? Ah, here we go. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, I trigger one of my war hammers. We can take care of this elite. At least I can stun him. Stun us. So, oh, no, no, no. We're going to go. We're going to go rock tunnel for the movement. I'm not going to move through them, which kind of sucks, but rock tunnel for the movement, and then I think I think I'm going to heal my bro. Alright, 
So I'm going to do this and this. Done. Yes, we get to go first. Woo! What up, Rickster? How you doing, man? I will get to you soon, man. Sorry, we're trying to figure out the Canadian thing. We will get it to you. Uh, let me know if that last email helped you out. It's a waste to heal? Oh, rather than just kill? Am I playing too slow? Did I just mess up? I chose poorly? Okay, I want to trigger this, though. Oh, I'm not going to... I just totally went against what I was going to do, right, DK? Oh, I'm so bad at this. My whole idea was to go up there and smash him with the hammer. And now I just chose to heal. Oh, no, I could just do a regular attack. Okay, okay. But still, bad, bad plays for days. Bad plays. All right, so if I use this with my hammer on this dude, confirm, this is the elite still stunned. So this means they stun stunning I assume means they can't attack. Six damage? Perfect. Hit. What? So I can immediately heal for 3. Whoa, dude. Or I could burn both discarded cards. I mean, this dude's taking all the damage. Why is that guy so strong? They got an awesome modifier, man. They must they must have got an awesome modifier to do six damage to me. But is the elite giving bonuses to the other dudes? Is that why the elite's so good? But this dude is an elite. This dude's just a banded archer that hit us. The elite is stunned right now. Right? Supposed to be. Ugh. Lose one available card or lose two. I can't even use an available card. Must have got a two times. Yeah. Must have. But they don't have two times. Oh, they've already... She just drew it. X2. She has one. Chris looks confused. Yeah, I'm, I'm pissed that I just took a crit to my face. Um, I guess I'll burn two discarded cards, but that's all my cards, right? Then I'm just going to be a meat shield? Are we in the last room? This looks like there's nowhere else to go. So as long as Cragheart can survive this... Why can't we run? Oh. Not worth losing. So I guess I'll, I'll, I'll heal. I'm thinking of healing and then receiving my damage. I'm going to heal. I'm going to do this. Can't. Can't do this. Won't let me. I guess receive the damage. Now heal. Yeah. Dude, this game is brutal. And now I lose an ability card because of my, my thing. Good, great. This is awesome. This is fair. This is fair. Stitch Leaping Cleave. Okay. My turn's over. I got a card back, right? Whoa! No! Oh no! <laughs> Dude, he died! Brute has died due to lack of available ability cards. Great, great. This is great. This is going well, guys. Alright, this you're gonna oh, you're so gonna pay for this elite little Oh you're so dead right now. Um I think I'm going to heal and crush him. I think I, I can't do that, though. I think my best bet probably is to... And then use my other use my other thing. Just grab the chest. You're not going to be able to win here. What? You don't. Oh. Is that what I'm trying to get? Is this chest? Is that all I'm trying to do? I'm supposed to kill all enemies in the room. Is the chest the uh, epic loot, basically? So I'm being told to run for the chest. Run to treasure. <laughs> you guys are... <laughs> I'm not going to make it to the treasure, man. I'm going to get wrecked. I'm going to go one, two, three. They're going to hit me for like 900 damage. Or block the treasure, right? I'm going to exhaust next turn. So you don't think it's worth trying to kill this elite? Okay, everyone's saying to run. All right, let's run. Oops. 
All right, I get to go first at least. That's good. All right, I'm running. All right, my best move option is to get here. And then I can attack one of them. But I don't have any, any leaves. Okay. What's my best bet? I need to get away from this dude. This isn't going to help, but here we go. And then I can attack range five. What are my modifiers? Do I have any modifiers? So I could technically kill her if I get my two X2 modifier, right? I just don't know if I've drawn it yet. I don't have boots. I only have my... This guy didn't have boots. My other dude had boots. Here we go, guys. Hope for the best. Oh, minus one. <laughs> That's so sad. Ah. To the face. Um, okay, if I burn two discarded cards, I'm in trouble. So I need to receive three damage. Gotcha. Ah, did no damage. Woo! We're getting lucky. It, it does show an animation for the modifier, uh, Vorpal. It's just that it pops up, like, above the head briefly. Like, there, I guess she missed and didn't do any damage. Like, uh, when she hit, it said, uh, like, when I hit her, it said minus one, and it slid over. It's like a little, a little modifier. Yeah, I missed it at first, too. Uh, someone had to point it out to me as well. Oh, I see what you guys are saying. I have to rest. Should I long rest, though? Short rest. But I won't heal in. I get to act right now. Okay, cool. Okay. I didn't really understand the difference there. Uh, yeah, Dirt Tornado, go away. We're going for this gold. We're going for the box. Everybody wants me to get this box. We gotta see what, what's in the box. Ooh, then I can heal. Cool, I'm just looking at my cards. Look at my cards. All right, here we go. Uh, I need to move. Oh, I can heal a ton. Oh, I don't get to move if I use this one, right? All right, so I'm going to pop over here. Oh, got the box. What's in the box? And then just heal, right? I'm going to heal, guys. I'm not going down. I'm going to heal. I'm going to win this, guys. I'm going to kill everyone. I'm going to win this. I'm going to win this. You gained 10 gold! Woo! Yo, that's, you know, bonus all for all this help. Bonus all 10 crits right there. Did I do that wrong? Yes, there we go. Bonus all 10 crits right there. Everyone just got 10 crits because I got 10, 10 gold. Yeah, see there's the modifier just flew above my head. I got two damage. Ah! It, it was buried right there, so you couldn't really see it. I'm taking the damage, guys. Am I done? Do I really have no cards? Oh, because I'm going to have to burn one? Oh, and I won't have two cards? Oh, so what's the best thing I should do? Just short rest. It doesn't matter, right? Ah, defeat, guys. <laughs> fail. Oh, well, we got through it. Accomplishments, nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I think they... Yeah, that would be nice. I agree, Vorpal. Or be able to always see it. Like, clearly, maybe at the bottom, maybe a little bit larger. Um, I, I acquired no gold. So, wait, do I get to... I didn't get anything? What about, like, the 12 gold I had and the 10 gold I just got there? Lots of people lose on the first one. Oh, thank you, JP Rowan, for the 100 bits. Thank you so much for the 10 gold there. Oh, but I still think we're, we've got a problem. Because I just, uh... Right? I learned a lot. Yeah. I've come a long way. Um... 
While drinking at the Wayward Inn, you overhear snippets of conversation between two new town militia. Apparently, a local bandit commander has come in possession of a number of heretical texts and begun researching necromancy. We just learned this. So. So wait. If I go back to town. Yeah, we know this. We've learned this story. I need to go get the necromancer stuff. Got it. Obviously, you were unprepared to assault this base judge, so you prepare to leave the Wayward and head off to raid some local crypts. So it's basically saying I just lost. Only get gold if I win? Oh, man. <laughs> they just reset me, Spence. Yeah. Look, I'm back at the beginning. This is the same build I had before. Oh. So why did... Oh. Everyone was like, you're going to get wrecked. <laughs> oh. So savage, dude. Pleb reset. So yeah, I'm back to the beginning here with all my... And I can't change any of this stuff. How did I get two Warhammers last time, though? Oh man. So it's not like... So in real life, you get to keep your gold. In real life, if you lose the board game, you get to keep your gold. It is really... A, get good, Chris. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if I could go back to the main menu and see... Uh, wh 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 if I hit escape? Ah, main menu. If I can see what's available again. Okay, so you have compendium modding. So adventure is the only thing available right now. I thought, so I'm kind of doing, so this is kind of like the roguelike mode then. I think roguelike is the only thing available right now then, right? Because that's roguelike style. You know, you lose everything, you die. Wow, I had 25% less enemies on that one. I think we should try this again. We should try this again. First area like, is going to be a bit wonky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. It's early access. They've got a lot of stuff that's going to be added and changed and stuff like that. For sure. For sure. But we're I, I owe some burpees, man. I owe some... I mean, I owe some push-ups. Not burpees. I owe some push-ups for Lyle. I'm going to bust these out, and then we're going to try one more time. Then we're going to try one more time. Try one more time. Here we go. Going to win. Two. All right, now I've got the blood pumping. Now I've got the blood pumping. It's time to, it's time to get back into Gloomhaven and try to play some more. So my, so the, as you saw, my parents are visiting. That was the you saw Crit Pops, Crit Dad. You saw the Crit Dad um, came in and said hello. Wanted to see what's going on over here. Um, they've now stolen my car, so I have no car. They stole my vehicle that I was going to use to do stuff with. Um, or take them around as I've been I've, I've, I've been uh, schlepping them around the state of Pennsylvania I'm trying to get them to move here from the west coast we'll see um, so I guess we have to play more Gloomhaven and it's like 97,000 degrees outside it's a chill day right is it a chill day for everybody let's play some more Gloom, Gloom, Gloom Cleveland and I'm going to go after it dude we're going to try the same party we're doing this again with everything I've learned from you guys Burn Tavern let's start a journey start our journey. Maybe we'll run into that that stupid guy with the wine again and this time we'll rob him blind. Lost Crypt. Let's go to the Crypt. Going to the Crypt, guys. We're going to the Crypt this time. This is where it's going down. Going to the Crypt is where it's going down. Uh, Adventure. Yes, let's go. Adventure! Oh, we don't get to do the winemaker thing? So is that random every time? I, I thought we got completely rewound, but... <gasps> New things. We got bone dudes now. Skeletons. <laughs> Stole. I think your childhood ent entitles them to take the car. I know. It's true. They took my car. They took their car. <laughs> Whom Glavin. All right, so we've got two bone rangers. Oh, he's over here. Okay, we got two bone rangers and we have uh, the bones elite. Dude, what? I said it for normal, right? Like, this seems like not fair, man. Did I make it more difficult? Yeah, new enemies. Yeah, the, the definitely randomization's cool, but uh, what? Uh, so I'm curious, at the beginning of this, 
I instantly get a free move? Is that what happens at the beginning of every single Gloomhaven thing? Do you get a free move? Because apparently I get one free move at the beginning. What a Matt trying out some Gloomhaven digital just came out today. Early access. There's no tutorial, so chat's been like really helping me, Matt. Watch out for multi-target attacks with skeletons. They're innate. Is that what innate means? I assume that's what innate means. So this guy will attack. I assume it doesn't really... But you can choose where you start pretty much. Okay, okay, cool. So we've got our... So so Brute is more like our our uh, tank, right? And Cr Cragheart is our damage dealer. Um, This... This space up here, I believe, was blocked by the door and this thing. So I don't... He can't really move through here, right? So if I go... Oh, there's two traps. Sneaky... All right, so what I think I want to do is I want to go to Cragheart. Here's my next level plays. I want to knock this dude, this Living Bones Elite. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stun the crap out of him. Uh, I'm going to go with Avalanche. I think Brute is good damage eventually. Okay. So, so Cragheart. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Spence. It's allowing me to choose where to start in these things. So I want Cragheart to go first there. Um, and then this dude... Uh, he's fine. We're just going to leave him there. So I guess in the first beginning, you get to choose where you start. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go Avalanche for my attack, but for my movement, I just need to kind of get up, get rid of something here. I want to stun this. I want to stun this elite like hardcore. What? Okay, let's go with this. And I'm gonna avalanche. This is probably. And then this dude, since I'll be like here, I'm gonna do that there. My plan is for this dude. Plus, I'm gonna I'm gonna hammer him on that attack. This dude. It's going to move. Let's see. I need to move an attack. What's disarm do? Yes, exactly. Exactly, DK Mazu. Exactly. We got to be Bruce Willie right now. I'm going to make him run through these traps. Crackheart is a generalist, mostly ranged combat. Being able to throw down rocks is a unique ability. Being able to shape the battlefield can break scenarios. Yeah, that, that's what I kind of saw a little bit of last time. Um, so I'm thinking with move, I'm, uh, he's going to be up. I'm hoping Cragheart goes first. So I'll be able to move two. So I just need to move something basic here. I need, um, let's do, uh, let's do eye for an eye first with a follow up crushy butts. Okay, this is my this is my choice. This is my life. Nice. This is my next level plays. Oh, I wanted to do this. I if I do. Hmm. I wanted to do this with the move, but that doesn't move me, does it? I totally misunderstood this card. Like if I move, if I choose this, I'm just doing it where I'm standing, right? Crap, I miss I thought I could move two to this space. Whatever. I guess I'm not gonna create the obstacles. We're not I'm not gonna get the cool uh Okay, I'm gonna go there. And then I wanna activate this. Oh, oh skip movement. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Warhammer. Oh, we crit the crap out of that guy. Whoa! Bonus all five crits, man. We just wiped him out. 
That card allows you to blow up art, blow up obstacles and do damage to adjacent. Well, I was trying to do, I was trying to do create two hex obstacles here, but I totally, I needed to move first, and I didn't account for the fact I didn't move first. Um, dude, we just crushed that one pleb, dude. So I'm not even too worried anymore. Now I've got, I've got uh, Broheim here. Uh, yes, early access available now, Matt. Yes. Yes, sir. This is... I am in no special way right now. So how's retaliate work? I think I'm going to use this. Oh, no, I wanted to move three. Oh, I have my boots. I do have my boots. But I'd like my move three to put me on the gold. Uh, then I can just do two attack on him, which I think is probably not a bad, bad idea, right? I mean, it doesn't really matter how I get there. Because I have to move through traps otherwise... And he can shoot through this obstacle, if I'm not mistaken. Retaliate's more of a setup, so if I get hurt, they take damage. When they hit you, they take damage. He will focus on Crag, though. Why is that? What's going to bring the focus to Crag? If you're in melee range, it will retaliate for two. Okay, that's why it has a fisty punch, Retaliate. How come... Yeah, what, what determines um, targeting priority? Is it just distance? Initiative. Where can I see my initiative? Is it just a uh, standard initiative number for each uh, character? But he will target two. Why? I don't see why he'll target two. Is it because he gets two attacks? Low numbers up top. Oh, you mean turn in, based on turn initiative. Okay, so that it, the targeting priority changes based on who goes first in the round. Right, right. Okay, so, but that, I was just, I thought that, I, I thought that was just turn, turn order, but that also applies to targeting priority. So it's turn priority, it's, it's turn order plus targeting priority for enemies. Jeez, man. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Little crit knows there. Crit knows. You guys are very educated in this game. Crit, no. um, I'm just going to punch him. Okay, one-time modifier. Confirm. Oh, we killed him! Ah, oh, we're the best! That's worth three crits. That's worth three crits there. Or the closest enemy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If we're like, if I was like uh, right next to him, it would. Oh. Okay, so he shot Cragheart. Um, I'm just going to receive two damage. And you're right. He did attack both of us. Focus is very finicky to get used to. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that. Um, and you're right that he attacked us both, but I still don't really understand why or what's giving him double attack besides the fact he's a skeleton. Oh, dude, you're so going to die. Dude. Can I move through doors like without opening a door? That's my question now. DK Mazda with 100 bits! Woo! Oh, that puts us over 10%. Which levels us up. I will now owe 10 burpees, DK Mazu. Thank you so much, man, for the 100 bits, dude. Thank you. That was a good kill. That was a that was a good moment to celebrate. You're, for, you're definitely right. Uh, all right. So where, where's our crack heart, bro? He can, he can destroy this thing, right? Where I have jump. I just don't want to go through... Oh, let's do, let's Bruce Willie this guy. Let's push him. Where's my push? Where's my push? Where's my push? Push, 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 push. Who's push? This guy's push. Push one. Yeah. I want to move three. One, two, three. Like if I go one, two, up here. So if I go one, two, one, two, three. Can I, can I stop on this space right here? Or do I have to open the door? Anybody know? One, two, three. And then I can push him back here. Because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. Plus, I'm going to do spare dagger. Oh, this one pushes two. Oh, oh, oh. This one pushes two. Oh, my gosh. 
But I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, actually, I'll use... Where's the... Where's the one with the push? I had attack with push. Ah, warding strength. This... No. Provoking Roar with Warding Strength. Nope, that won't do it. I need to move three. So I might as well do this. So I might as well do... If he doesn't die based on my push, which he won't... I'm thinking this. This and Sweeping Blow. For him, 27. Then this guy... Um... It's going to open the door, maybe? It would be nice if they showed enemy focus. I, I don't think they have, unless I'm missing it. I don't really know what to look for. <laughs> Does anybody know if I move here? Or is this going to have to be a science? This is going to be for science, if it's just going to force me to open the door, right? Because I'd hate to block the door again, as I've gotten very good at doing. One, two, three, and I'm pushing him this way. Uh, this dude... I guess just to be safe... I'm going to do... Because you can move through enemies. So one, one, two, three, four. So I need to be able to move a lot. Where's all my movement? Maybe I'll go with uh, Massive Boulder. I don't care that he goes last. I'm going to Massive Boulder plus Earthen Clod. All right. For science. That's right. Here we go. We're doing this for science. One, two, three... Yep, I can move there. Sweet. Nope, open the door. Crap. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Apparently you can't just stand against the door like this or something. You have to you have to pop it. Alright, let's push this bro into the trap. <clears throat> oh yes, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's like Diablo esque. I love crushing things with uh Stuff. Now we can wreck him with this. Of course, I am now targetable by 900 dudes in this other room. We must have set it a different difficulty. We must have upped the difficulty, guys, because this is not a good scene for me right now. This could be bad. What did I... And I'm going last with this guy. So he could actually finish this dude off. Oh, wait. Move four. One, two, three, four. This isn't considered adjacent, though. I was thinking of just going one, two. Maybe. And then just... Oh, I got range five, too. Gloom Forge, says Ismati. That's right, man. I've been learning... I've been... Dude, talk about forging. I'm definitely learning a lot. I'm So, here's my debate. What my debate is, do I fire at this guy with my range to try to get a modifier off? Or do I fire at this guy? and Or do I let this guy deal with this guy... Because I assume he's... I assume this living corpse is melee. Or if he's, like, left for dead, he's just going to puke all over me. There's no other range in here. This is all melee fight. So, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. On this guy. Let's hope for the modifier. Let's get the attack. Dang it, man. Come on. Living corpse is melee. He's a butt. Looks like a big butt, too. That fatty's a big bag of hit points. It's slow, though. Okay, good. So we've got time. I think my choice was good. Except they're all going to get turns. Whoa! They hit... Ow. Psh, damage. I'm not losing cards. Learned that lesson. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Here comes all kinds of damage. Nope. Oh, so they don't get turns. Because I opened the door this turn, they're just uh they're just spawned, but they don't take a turn. Ah uh, I don't know why this guy got a turn. Probably because I attacked him, right? He gets a chance to retaliate. Is that basically what happened there? Um one, two, one, two. So I can just go two and take this dude out. Now they pop the trap, right? Um Yeah, I mean, I like the range five. If I went one, two, three, four, I could finish this dude off, but let's finish this dude off, right? They do go.
They might have just had a dumb turn. Yeah, hope so. AI dumb. I'll just use the cool attack. Uh, I kind of wanted to get this gold, but whatever. Oh, come on, man! How come this dude's, like, impossible to kill? Ugh. All right, we need to do new stuff. So I believe with Cragheart, I have a way to move and hurt when I move through someone, right? I can immobilize anyone I move through. I thought there was someone I could move... Th or was that this dude? That's this dude, isn't it? Oh, God. Yeah, it's this dude. Oh, man. I've got my wrong dude pushing on my front line. You did attack at range up close. Oh, I did? Oh. I thought by choosing that card, what was that? I just attacked two, not range five. Did I somehow click range? I thought it was attack two would be with my sword and would just default to that. So I chose range and that's why I messed up. Man, I, I just gotta really get used to this. Okay, we gotta get we gotta get some bros taken care of in here. Um, I have the so with this dude, I can move a lot. What is it about this room that I care about? Is it just clearing the room and I'm done with the scenario? Kind of looks that way. I don't see any doors. I don't see any crazy exits anywhere, right? So this is gonna be a move thing. This dude looks scary as butts. Um, I kind of just want to blast this guy down to get rid of this, these archers and then we can kind of start doing some crazy stuff, right? Just do the basic two if you were that close to them. Do not care about disadvantage. I think the disadvantage didn't negate anything that time, though. Okay. Um, I got to keep pushing forward, man. You're right, I should have just done the basic two. Ah! One, and we have this thing. So I almost have to range attack this guy. I have no more range with with this dude. But I can run and start just fighting these dudes, right? So maybe I'll run in and shield bash this, this fatty and start bringing him down. Uh, one, two, three... And then shield bash him, right? I just don't know what these dudes do. Uh, and then this dude. Uh, I just really want to wreck this bro here. This has jump, right? Or this one has jump, move four. I don't have my thing. So one, two, three, four. That's not adjacent. So that's not going to help me. But I could range this guy, forcing this guy to come around. So if I can move one. Okay, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four. But my guy's going to get hurt. No, he won't. He won't get hurt. I'm in the tank, guys. I'm in the tank. Oh, this card does both things I need to do. Ah. See, I need this. I need the move ability on this, but I also need the range three ability on this. Ah, because I'm trying to take out this guy over here. Problem is, Oh, this has move five with jump. And it'll mobilize that. So maybe I rock tunnel to then crater, which kind of sucks, but let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, let's see if we even survive. Game on. Just 
So he just shielded himself up and healed. He's shielding himself up. Healed? Those dudes do not want to die. Okay, my plan with him was one, two, three, move, and then attack with the stunna on this fatty butt. One, two, three. Oh, maybe I go here with it, right? Let's do that. Here I come. Here we go. Let's wield the sword. Swing. And uh, I want to attack him, dude. I'm doing this. Big attack on this guy. Oh, we wrecked him. Oh, we're so good. Yes. There's five Chris Ray ones. Was that the brute I just killed? Or brute? I am the brute. I I am brute. I am brute. Do I just have Pierce is what you're saying? I don't know if I just have Pierce. I am brute. Can't tell. But it's good to know if these guys are shielding up. Full shout. Alright, so I'm going to do this move. I'm going to go one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then I'm going to do... Uh... I'm going to do range three on this guy. I got my toe two times on a card. Yeah, man. That was a crit, though. That felt good. It felt good. It felt powerful. So I need to do my five move. One, two, three, four. What? It's going to let me move there? I don't think so. It will. Because a jump, I can jump on top of an obstacle? I don't want to do that. It's going to go there. Um, confirm. Get him mobilized on. Then we're going to attack. We're going to attack this guy. I don't think he can see me through the door. <laughs> Got him! Nice. Two crits for that, for sure. All right. We did two damage. That's all we need to do. Oh, here comes the fatty bursters are coming. So these guys don't really do much. But that scares me when they don't do much. Don't like that. Don't like that. So I need to get up there and do some stun at work, I think. I think I want to go up and stun this guy. By doing a one, two, three move and then shutting him down with my, my axe. My axe. Or attack three and immobilize him as well. I mean, that doesn't really matter, right? But you're thinking Crag had... Uh, cleave? Or the ability to break through Pierce, I mean? So if I go one, two, three... With this dude, and I'm going to stun -a him. So I can use this move. And immobilize. Yeah, I'm going to do this and this for Cragheart. Then this dude... I think I have to kill all enemies in all rooms, right? The, it's a card ability. Or Late Knight says it has a pierce. It has a card ability. It is? Oh, it's it's in here? Oh, I just don't have it yet? Because I only have healing and I have boots. But I don't know how I would get... If it's a, what the card ability means. Or what these things do. Oh, these are my dudes. Um, I'm wondering about taking out this little one damage guy. But at the same time, I'm kind of like... Okay, so he's going to be immobilized... I'm gonna. I'm thinking of jumping up there and pushing this guy, pushing this guy out of the way. Oh, we can do some crazy movement though. Ooh, so maybe we're gonna trample these dudes.
yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do provoking roar and trample. Let's get crazy. Let's just wreck these bros, huh? Oh, I'm going first. I'm going first. And then the living bones are going next. But we're gonna we're gonna shut that down, I think. So I'm gonna go move. Oh, there's Pierce right there. There's Pierce on with trample. With trample, you'll use you can use boots to ensure you hit more people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Combos. I'm walking down through the store, and I was like, man, I'm a little hungry. I got my Mountain Dew. What am I gonna buy? Some combos. Look at me. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. But I can't land on his spot, right? Well, what I want to do is I want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and land here and then attack here. So I'm going to proc this. So I can get 5 out of it. What? How come I can't proc it? Proc it. Proc, proc, proc. Oh, it was proc'd. Okay, here we go. So 1, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Confirm. All right, here we go, guys. It's gonna be nuts. Swa, swa, swa. So these guys are supposed to take two damage each, which they're gonna do. Right now. <laughs> Get wrecked. All right, and then we can attack two on this guy and disarm him. So disarm means I believe he can't attack, right? Yes, that was a good turn. That was a good turn. That felt good. That felt so strong. That felt so strong. All right, so he got, he's armoring up. He's going to heal, probably. Yeah, what a butt. This guy's probably do the same, right? So these guys just don't attack. They just turn into giant walls and, and uh, deck me. Is that all they're trying to do? What? Oh. He attacked five, and he suffered a damage, so he's just dying slowly, apparently. This little bugger. This little butt came up and shot me for four damage. Dude, I might, I might just burn a card. Because I think we're at the end of the scenario with these hard dudes, so I'm not too worried about... I'm going to get rid of Opposing Strike. Yeah, yeah, you're in trouble now. Okay, so I'm thinking move three. One, two, three. And then I'm just going to rock this dude and immobilize him. One, one two, three. I can't get any further... I was going to mobilize and stun -a him. But I'm thinking now... Yeah, that's what I got to do. I'm going to just wreck this guy. No. We're going to have to... We're going to have to do focus fire on these skelly dudes. Um... They need to say have it pop up or something. So easy to miss. Yeah, Raul. That's the third time someone said that. I, I and I'm agreeing. Now that I'm starting to see that more. So I think rather than doing my other turn, I'm not really too worried about these dudes because they're just going to keep healing, shielding up. Well, we need to focus fire on them, right? This little, I just kind of want to blow this archer up and deal with this. But I wish I had one more movement point so I could stun this guy down. So I think I'm just going to wreck this dude with my guaranteed two, since I have to do this eventually. And this guy's just healed up full. What? No, I'm done. Skip movement. I'm just going to wreck him. The Spencer thing, just use the pleb, pleb attack. It's good enough. Yes, get wrecked. All right. Cool. So if these guys just keep healing and armoring up, Okay, end of the round. Nice. No, I shouldn't have done that. Did I choose poorly? I want elements. How do I get elements? By playing those cards differently? Yeah, it's still, I'm still confused on how to get elements. I don't know how that works. I don't know how elements work yet. 
So I'll go this, this. I need to move, man. I need to play element cards, it looks like, because that's what these... You choose two attack instead of three attack just now. Yeah, but I, I killed him, though. I thought, I thought that was the good thing to do if I didn't want to have a modifier or something happen. Am I choosing poorly? I'm, I'm not, I must have misunderstood. So I'll go one, two, three. I can then heal. One, two, three. I'm not close enough. That one, two, one, two, one, two, three. And he's three away, so I can't heal him. Why, though? The leaf on Craig's element. Yeah, you did kill him. No problem. Okay. Oh, I didn't choose a lower initiative for brute first? Oops. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. It still pulls modifiers with the pleb attacks, though. Man... It's letting you guys down. So this does get range two on this attack. If I move, if I do a two move, I can't get through this thing. So like one, two, and then this is range two. And this is still far off. One, two, one, two. Mm. Ah, I need to use the three move, right? And then just do some healing on myself, I guess, is the best move here. All allies and enemies in the target are muddle. One, one, two. I won't hit anybody. I might not get it, gotten to use the element anyway. Okay. Good to know. Crit knows. Crit knows. That's right, guys. Crit knows. Crit knows. These are all good things. Chris is bad. Chris is bad mode. So I'm just going to move three and heal because it looks like that's kind of like my best move here. Get up with my bro so I can start doing some uh, damage. Right? Because we're going to have to rest here. So do we get a leaf for using that? Is that what's happening now? Ah, yes. So I've got a leaf now. I've got leaves. I've got leaves. Okay, let's push some dudes around, huh? I want to kill this fatty. So I move three and push two. Ooh, attack six. Oh, oh. On the next six sources of damage from attacks targeting you, gain a shield. It's probably a good idea, huh? But I don't get to move if I do that. I could finish off this shieldy butt right here for sure if I do this. But if I move over here, I can push this fatty away two spaces to here and maybe slice this dude up. Let's do that. Push you there. Go away! Be gone. And then I want to attack this dude. But this totally went completely different than I thought it was going to happen. And then I can push him somewhere. Where do I want to push him? He's just going to heal up, right? Let's push him there. What? I have to push him to? Uh oh. Let's put him on some loot. Ah. Oh, well, suddenly he likes to attack. That's cool. Receive two damage. Haha, <laughs> get modified on. Move and push the zombie to the table. It should take damage. Ah, oh, really? Crap. I love pushing dudes into things. Three, no. Man, I knew they could push him in the traps. I didn't know if I could use all the other objects, though. Okay, if I do short rest, I can then wreck these dudes, right? Grab and go, loot, move forward. Yes, done. No problem. I will happily short rest with this, bro. Uh, let's short rest with this guy. Perform short rest. Yes. Let's 
fine. Let's burn massive boulder. I'm fine with that. Oh, it's an ability on a card. Okay. I know I could push him into the... We did the... For science, into the... We did science the one dude into the trap, and it worked. So maybe maybe objects work. One, two, three. One, two, three. Dang. Uh, one, two. If I can get one shot on this one dude. Can you push dudes into dudes? Like, if I use this, can I push that guy into that other guy? That would be pretty rad. Where's my running thing? Any enemy who targets one of your adjacent allies and attack this round targets you instead. Okay, that's like my tank thing. Move, jump. Uh, uh. One, two, three. If I, oh, I can't get, these guys aren't close enough together, are they? Well, attack six would wreck this dude. This fatty guy is kind of lame. So let's just do a move. And this for the exp. And then with my crag heart, uh, I'm just going to crush this bro. But I have to choose two, right? Uh, we'll go this. And this for the XP. Okay, I think we got this. Okay, boom. Uh, this dude's turn first. I was gonna move. I was gonna move down here. Just gonna move away. And then do attack six. Right here. Get wrecked. <laughs> Crushed him. Okay. No worries. Okay, so then I should be able to kill this guy off pretty easily. So if I can move two, I could like move over one, do one damage to him, and then this other thing doesn't do anything. Plus, I get plus one attack if I want to do something else. This could seriously just end him here, right? <laughs> yeah! Cool. Uh... Activate alternate half of remaining card. Do I care about that? Nice. All right. Shows in the card I have an element to burn. Yeah, it, it's glowing. So that's what this little thing means over here, apparently. All right, come on, Fatty. Oh, it's still my turn. Oh, because I killed off everyone else. I guess Fatty doesn't want to do anything. He's just a living corpse. Uh, we're just going to move up there and crush him. Yes, we are. Uh, let's go. Spare dagger. I don't know. Sweeping blow. And this dude. Let's get some gold, right? Where's my loot card? Did I burn that? Nope, it's right there. So let's go. Crushing ga grasp. And earthing clawed, I guess. All right, here we go. Go around and loot. Don't kill. Can I do that? That's what I was going to do with my other guy. Yeah, I want to do that. I want loot, man. You can use your loot one and loot more. A demon monkey is the loot's pick? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, can I, can I just run around and... Yeah, I want to do that. I'm going to do that. I want to get some stuff. I want to get stuff, man. Oh, it loots in a one radius. And then I'll just skip the attack. If I if I lose because I'm getting greedy, I'm going to be very sad. Um So if I loot with this, this loots this will loot this. 
if I go loot? Ah, sick. Good to know. And then this, whatever. Cool, so we can just kite this guy around and grab all the gold. Nice. This is what we're doing, right? We're just looting now. But I'm, I guess I could take damage to reset when I short rest and stuff, right? So I'll still be able to kind of jump around here. Ooh, now I want that loot card back. <laughs> Alright, so we just need to be able to move. Um, whatever, really, right? It's like, is there strategy to the moving and looting? Besides being efficient? I think I have one more turn before I exhaust, right? Yeah, I agree, Eric Laws. I think it should be, yeah, like when you when you kill a thing, I would hope that they would just let you take stuff, right? Uh, let's see, I can go two movement here. <laughs> Actually, if I go two movement there... Well, he's the closest, so. Get rich? Yeah, just make sure I don't exhaust myself, guys. <laughs> Get rooked? Come down here? Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't stop on the gold. I, for ah, I forgot how this is working. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm an idiot. Okay. I can't even loot right. I can't even loot properly. Jeez. <laughs> so, I just do a short rest here, right? Yeah, I have tons of cards. I'll be fine. Crushing Grasp. Any of my attacks let me move? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. This guy's... Uh, I'll probably use my jump to get out of this hole. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> That's why you have to think and build your strategy around looting and advancing the scenario, says Rav. I know, this is the best streaming. This is probably the top streaming uh, content right here. Watching me figure out how to stop my movement on gold right now. Sure. Come hit me, I will retaliate on you. Ah. Give me that gold, give me that loot. Give me that loot, oh, 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 oh. Give me that loot. Oh, double gold. Okay. Cool. Now we're moving. We're getting rich now. Okay, yeah, I gotta be careful not to exhaust myself, right? I gotta be able to kill this guy before I get all my stuff. So I don't have my boots. But I'm gonna use... Spare Dagger, Leaping Cleave. And then here, we just need to move three, move two. There we go. Let's go. Cool. So him. Here. I could just pop him right now. No. I mean, it's only two with like a couple gold, right? But we still have another turn. Why? Why? Right? Go after the mo go after the stuff. Oh, we can heal. Look at this. 
do some healing. Read what they're doing? Oh, get XP. Oh, play the cards that give you experience. Right. Oh, he killed himself. No. <laughs> he killed himself, so I can't be greed. I can't greed it. Ah, oh, we did it, though. Woo! You're right, Maju. I should have been looking at the experience. But I'm pleb. But he killed himself. Ah. <laughs> Next level, please. Mission accomplished. We got 14 gold. Nothing is applicable, apparently. And we finished the scenario. That's bonus awesome. Critage. Yes. Everybody gets some crits for that. <laughs> he killed himself. All right, we beat the children. All right. All right. We've accomplished that. That was fun. So now we have money. We have money. We have gold. Um, we can go to the armory. We can go to the Coven of Bones. I can go to the Wayward. I can go home. I can go buy stuff, right? Uh, I have all my cards still. I didn't lose any cards. So is it worth me to go back? How do I go back to buy stuff? How do I spend my money? Oh, rolling with the 100 bits. Thank you so much, man. The celebratory bits. Run length, three scenarios. Oh. It tells you the run length. Strange cold is causing undead in the area. Clear this crypt out. You've heard rumors that this is where a group of bandits train their archers. Ah. Oh. Ah. Let me, let me figure out what's going on here. See if we have time for another one. But how do I go back to the city to, uh, to do my thing here? How do I go back to the city to spend my money? How would I do this? Oh, what's this? Click Wayward? I am. Oh, Wayward, maybe the name? No. So you, I thought, I thought, oh, is this because this is the, the, the roguelike style? I'm not allowed to go back and spend my money, but that, that's not roguelike. I have to complete the run. I have so much gold. I have so much gold. In the board game, a scenario had to have the option to go back to the city at the end. You may have to continue on. Okay, so it may be roguelike. All right, let me jump to the, let's go to the armory. Encounter! Um, what, you happen upon a stoppered flask laying on the road. Clearly dropped by some clumsy adventurer, you pick up the flask and notice that there is still a good amount of inside. And you are feeling a tad thirsty. Uh, yeah, we take a drink, dude. Let's pop that thing, baby, yes! As you raise the flask to your lips, you notice the empowering stench of strong alcohol, but decide to try another less. Yeah, despite your coughing, sputtering, and lightning down the drink to the flu to fire, your party members are too keen to try the strong brew. With the flask now empty, you stumble onwards, somewhat inebriated. Oh, LaCroix boy. Oh, what's muddle? Is that drunk? <laughs> Shoot, man. It's RL, dude. Too real. Too real, man. Too real. What is muddle? I saw one of my cards gave people muddle. Five health, four health, five health. Kill them all. Let's do it. What is muddle? Muddle sounds bad. Small little room, little f things on the ground. We got leaves and stuff. We got dudes. We've got uh, seven bandit guards, apparently. I don't see seven bandit guards, but that's fine. Disadvantages on attacks till end of turn. Great. Metal gives you disadvantage for a turn. Okay, so we got drunk and on our way to this battle. It's basically what happened, right? So we have a bunch of dudes. We got an archer. We got two archers. What's this five next to their name mean? Like bandit guard seven. 
Bandit Guard, Bandit Archer 5, Bandit Guard 6. It's not their health. I don't know what that number represents. Um, where do we want to start? All right, so this dude's kind of like our run-up stunner. Oh, we could just run up in here. They've got their things. I want to run up and push this guy right into this trap. That's what's going to happen. Uh, move three, push two. I'm going to go eye for an eye and overwhelming assault with my bro here. This is kind of YOLO rag right now. Do I have more cards now? I feel like I've accumulated more cards. I mean, Craghart's the one that does all the immobilization. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I could do that with this cool thing. Get in there and just start doing some damage, man. That's what I want to do. Uh, so I'm going to go... That'll be my move. And my attack will be that. So let's go Rock Tunnel. Dirt tornado. I'm going. I'm going with a very aggressive turn here. It's their standy number. They go in order of elite numbers and then normals. Oh. Okay. Here we go. I'm going hard. I'm going hard. I'm not worried about no elites. We're going hard this one. This is this is face hunter mode right now. Um, I'm gonna move three to here, which is only two. But then I'm gonna push this dude. One. What? I can't push him into this one, too? Get wrecked on, dude. Yeah. Retaliate for you. Okay. I'm setting up. I'm setting up for the hit. Didn't really go as planned, but I'm going very aggro. So I'm thinking, one, two, three. One, two, three. Four, or four, 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 five. I guess that's not gonna matter if he can be immobilized, huh? I'm kinda doing this, whatever. And then I'm gonna dirt tornado him for sure. But I can't get in the middle of him. Plus, it'll muddle them, which would be good. So maybe I come up here. So I go one, two, three, four, five. It's because you're a drunken McGee. Ah, uh, I see, I see. This will muddle and... Oh, I can do this. Oh, I can do a crazy splash. I think it's a better spot for me to be, though. Get wrecked! Nice. That was good. I thought that was good. We got some splash action there. Ah! Uh, we'll take damage. Ow. Ooh. Burn an available card. Took Just took four damage. This is the elite guys we're talking about, huh? Or is this the elite? This is an elite? She just nailed me. We'll take the four damage. Oof. We'll take three damage. My retaliate's over here, huh? Now I'm mad. Now I'm mad. Shouldn't have done that, boys. Um. Oh, yeah. That one gets me in there to do some damage. We're going hard. We're going to opposing strike. No, we're going to crater. We're going to jump in. But first, for our attack... If we survive. Uh, 
So we're going to crater an avalanche, man. We're going to get nuts. No, 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 no. Let's not crater an avalanche. My move is going to be the crater move. So I can get into this spot and do some stuff. My attack... Yeah, I'll do that. Opposing strike crater. This bro... Oh, I can just go crazy, huh? Oh, yeah, we're trampling. We're going to trample through all these bros. Uh, we're going to go... Trample. We're going to do the trample move. We're doing trample move with our foot. We're going to step, 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 step. But to do that, after that... We're going to shield bash. All right, I'm going hard. I'm going hard. I'm going hard. That dirt tornado card is so much more efficient than I, uh, in real life. You're pulling modifiers for each target, and it takes a while. Oh, yeah. Ow. Ha-ha! <laughs> Miss me! Ha-ha! <laughs> Miss me! Oh, you butt. What a butt, dude. He knew ex She knew exactly what was going to happen. Do I care? No. No. Don't care. We're going to move. So how can I do this with my foot? If I activate this, we can go... One, two... One, two, three, four. It'll pop the door though. Five, six. I go one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna stun her. Or if I go one, two, three. It's not value though. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then hit. I think that's what I gotta do. I go here, 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 here. What? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, I miscalculated. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Dang it. One, two, three, four, five, six is what I have to do. Dang it. Just jump over the trap. Oh, will jump account for that? Oh, cool. So one, two, three, four. Uh, it's still not enough, is it? Because I land on her. That won't allow me to do that. So if I go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's that's what I have to do. Is what we're saying. So one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Right. Okay. They get all attacked. And then I stun her butt. Or oh, just wreck her with a crack! Oh. Dude, not even a problem. Well, this changes this attack I wanted to use, huh? And this... I wonder if taking three damage by jumping onto this trap here... I mean, it would only do one, so if I... Hmm, that really sucks that traps there now. But these guys... Oh, that's a... Mm, ah. I was going to say I could do this and stay put. But I guess I could stun the archer. So yeah, I'm going to do this. Next six melee attacks, I get retaliate two. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put on Opposing Strike. I'm then going to activate Crater. And I'm going to Warhammer. Uh, here. I'm going to Warhammer. Can I Warhammer? During your melee attack, add Stun. Why can't I, why can't I use this? It doesn't have to be ranged, does it? Because I want to attack this archer.
Yeah, I only want to use it. It says attack three melee, doesn't it? Attack three. How do I pick the attack? That's what I think I'm trying to do. But it's attack three range. I thought it was attack three with the sword or it's range three. But I have to pick the pleb attack if I don't want, right? It's range no matter what. It's just range. Okay. So I have to do this then. This is what I have to do. Okay. Oh, the attack is range. Three power, three range. Okay, so I picked... All right, so I'll just do the pleb attack on it there. I think the more important thing was that I get that... Oh, it didn't even matter. I got that crit. Yes. Three crits for that one. That's all it took. Because I just wanted to stun it up. Ow. Damage is fine. I should have retaliate here. I'll take the damage. <laughs> and this guy. Oh. Four damage kills me. Let's burn an available card. Uh, let's go with... Um, backup ammunition? I don't know. But he got wrecked. <laughs> that sucks. All right. Too bad for him, huh? All right. My big dude is ready to just crush here. Where's my big crush attack? Um, oh, he has a loot too, huh? Look at that. I thought I had a six damage attack. I must have already used it, huh? Okay. Let's go over here. This dude. Um... If we can run, one, two, one, two, three, four, I could do massive boulder and then straight up just avalanche or three. Opposing strike is active, I guess is what that's saying for the next six melee attacks. Okay, cool. Attack three, target all adjacent enemies. Suffer three, two damage though. Ooh. Okay, so let's do move one, one, two, three, four. So we're gonna massive boulder for the run, and then we're going to attack four with this dude. To help out over here. He's very late though, so that means this dude needs to stun us if he can. Ooh, we can disarm. So let's go. Interesting. Where's my loot card? Okay. What I was thinking is actually going... Sw uh. I think I can do it like this. No, no. No, no, it's not going to work. I'm trying to get right here so I can just loot these two golds. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how I can do that and then grab and go. I was thinking provoking. Okay, so if I provoking roar, I want to get this a disarm attack off. Would be nice. And then be in place to use this. So maybe I use... I'm going to go provoking roar and just one of these things here. Uh, warding strength. We'll see what happens. It's like, a, not really next level play is happening here. So I kind of just want to... Oh, I gain a shield every time they attack me on the next thing. I should have done that. Mm. That allows one, two, three, four is, is his jump. Oh, I can move through myself, though. So actually, I'll do this. Yeah. I'm gonna buff and then attack. What? All 
Ah, here we go. Here we go. Get disarmed on. Can't attack me now. No matter what happens. Oh, he got to go first. Oh, that's right. Ha ha! Miss me. Now I'm going to move here. One, two, three, four. Perfect. No. Wait, one, two, three, four. Watch out. It's going to happen. Um, he's disarmed, I thought, right? So... It doesn't even matter. Get wrecked. Woo! Yeah, dude. Easiest game ever played. Alright, so this is where we want to get the loot, right? Loot is... So is my dude's loot card still available? They both have their loot card? Yeah, buddy. Where's my range? So I have a range 5 here, and then I loot. So I'm going to go like this. And then range 5. Just to have that ready. And then he. We'll probably just run up here and attack. Or something. Or 1, 2, 3... Let's do a straight move. Right? Let's get this. Let's get this room underway. Let's get this room underway. What do you think? I don't want to push. Um. Eh. I guess move. I don't know. I'll just pick those two. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. So I was thinking we can loot, and then I'll just blast him from here. Get rich. One time. Ha! Got him. Woo! Crushed him. So if I jump over here, I can then loot. Hello. I think that's good. We're getting all the golds. I don't know what I use the golds for, apparently, but we're trying. Ow! You jerk face. Placing traps. Ha <laughs> ha Walked into their own trap. Nice. That's what I like to see. Okay, so we need this guy to take priority here. Uh, we only have two moves. We have two options. So, bear diver, sweep, and blow. Next dude. Hmm. We got two options as well. We'll just have to figure it out. We're just gonna go with it. Yellow, rather than take a rest. Okay, so she's going to move two and then attack three at range. She's gonna move one and attack two, as well as strengthen himself. Okay, so I do have the push with him, which is kind of rad. We're going to suffer some damage, though, if I use this move. I'll only suffer one damage. Shield two. Hmm. One, two. Ah. Looks like I'm not going to get up anywhere I need to be, right? Ah. I need to get out of here. I need to run. Looks like I'm just going to go pleb move. Maybe with this. And then just heal. This is a pleb move turn. With him. I'm going to heal myself, man. I'm hurting. Healing! Okay, this dude's got some push, though. This is going to be sick. We can push him into this trap. Um... Oh, I have to push him away, right? Hmm. So I can't I can't push him here. Like if I move here, can I push him next to me? I have to push him actually away from me, right? 
Uh, ooh, this has a double attack choice. Look at that. Spare dagger. That's pretty sick. But then I won't be able to attack anything, huh? So maybe I just do a move. Ah, oh, man. I do have a shield, though. So maybe I move up. I was hoping I could push him here. Unless I jump onto this. If I go one, two, I'm going to take two damage because of my shield. Right? I do have a shield active. Oh, maybe that's not true. I just have something else going on. When I get attacked, I gain stuff. So, yeah, I'm just going to jump up here. I'm just going to attack. I'm going to attack at range, right? Range? Can I do that? Nope. Skip the extra movement. Range three here so I don't get disadvantage. Right? Oh, it's, it flashes. That's interesting. It flashes because I was taking the, uh, the whatever. Okay, tank for me, buddy. Ow. Um... Oh. We have one more room. Am I burning discarded cards some more? Oh my gosh, I'm running out of options. I'm running out of options. But I'm going to die if I'm not careful. I'm going to burn some cards. Let's get rid of our loot here. Let our other dude be our looter. Retaliate was pretty sick. I think I'm going to get rid of Provoking Roar. Ah, I know it's a 10 card, but ah. Stronger. He's so strong. Okay, I need to be able to get my other dude in here. Okay, this guy needs to do some major push. We need short rest. It's fine. Short rest one time. Now we need to wreck these dudes. Um, I think I'm going to jump over him. And sweep. Leap and cleave, sweep. Short rest, yes. Ooh, I think I need to redraw that one. Uh, burn on stable upheaval. Look at these next next level plays, huh? Where's my move at the jumps? Okay, so if I go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, I'll do that with this move and then they'll take damage which will be good all enemies suffer a damage but let's start by also that'll be my move my attack I need my I need a faster attack I'll go with the heal I like crater crater's awesome oh boy okay hopefully you don't die here guys Oh, I didn't die. I'll take two damage. Oh, I'm hanging on. I'm hanging on. Okay, so it's his turn. This one. Close. Now we're going here. Damage time. Yes. Easiest game I ever played all year. Uh, then definitely heal my Broheim. What? Did he not heal? Did I miss something right there? Anybody else see that? I just had to heal four right here and he didn't heal. Is that a bug? Did we just experience a bug? Mm, might have been a bug. That was supposed to be a, a nice little Healy. That didn't go well for me. I 
I gotta attack this guy first, right? Got him. Got him. Um, and then let's just move. Move here to get some gold. No, no, not in the trap! fine <sighs> waypoints are important guys we're learning we're learning waypoints are very important uh, so at this point I should probably do a long rest before I go into this probably final room right I'm gonna do a long rest with this dude because I'm bad reach here like two ability cards all right, he's long rest. Um, this dude's going in. And we're going in guns a-blazing. Screw the gold, because we don't know what this is. So I'm going to go massive boulder into dirt tornado. <laughs> Let's do it. No, no. Well, it doesn't matter, right? Because it doesn't matter. Because there's no one to compete with. Um... Coming in. Okay, what do we got? We got a bandit archer, and we got a bandit archer elite. If I come in here, I go right for the box, and I blow them all up, right? Uh, no, they're not going to be affected. Which one is this? Is the archer? So I wouldn't hit him. I have to go, like, here. If I want to get him with the... Oh, it's range two. It's range two, right? Get to the box. Get into the box. Get to box. What's in the box? And then I can range two, so it should do two spots all around, right? Is this what we've learned? What? I can go plus one attack damage? Yeah. I've got a leaf, dude. That's what I do. That's why I collect them. Oh. Hmm? Hmm? Why can't I target this? Her. Her. What? What? Is she out of range down here? One, two, one, two. What? What's going on here? Oh, I can only attack one dude. Ah! Yeah, at least I'm. At least I muddled up. Okay, that didn't go as planned. Oh, we got 10 gold! Woo! 10 gold, bonus all. 10 crits for everybody. Yes, get rich! Everybody just got rich. Ah. Ah. Take a damage. Oh, long rest. What do we want to lose? Um, I kind of like Leaping Cleave. I don't think I need the push, although push would be cool. No, let's get rid of Leaping Cleave. Let's go with Sweeping Blow, because I want to push her into this trap. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Okay, here we go. Got the game downloaded. Nice, dude. Are you going to stream it? Is Late Night Tabletop making a return to the Gloomhaven Airwaves? Because that would be sick. One, two, three... So I think one, two, three. You think I can push her into this into this thing here and she'll get hurt? You don't know. Well, these are my only two choices, I guess, so. Game on. Um this one. Oh, 
how am I going to get there, right? This is the problem. I can't get to him, but I can range attack. Um, oh, I need to get this elite through this, this garbage here. Arr, so angry. I'm almost thinking I can just take the three damage. Right back up, right? I mean, what, how do I know what their range is? It depends on what they play, right? All right, so if I back up, maybe I'll go out of range. What's he doing? What, what are your cards right now? 60 first, 30, so I'm gonna go first. Um, Whoa, no. You can just discard that stuff? Interesting. Okay, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna... I want to immobilize her. So I was thinking of going... I mean, these are my two choices, so... This just has to work this way. I just have to careful put it, put it through. You can't push through obstacles. Yes, thanks, Road. I know, I wish I could just blow through him. So she's gonna attack four. Is that at range three? Is this what this is saying? Okay, so they have range three. That's what I'm more concerned about. So one, two, three. So if I can back out and get off my uh, attack three. One, two, three. So if I can jump here, but that would block him out, right? One, two, three to get his push off. I was hoping I could push him into this obstacle. Ooh, but I have my boots, right? I haven't used my boots. No, I have used my boots. I don't know. I can't tell if I have my boots. It won't tell me when it's not my turn. Yer. Well, I'll be in range if I'm here. Okay. I think I need to just go one, two, and then range her. Wait, what? Oh, I have to go through there. No. I'm going to go one, two. I'm going to range here? I mean, it's range five. I could go after the big, big baddie, right? Uh, yeah, I think, I think I should be attacking here as much, many times as I can. And then this dude. I'm going to try to push her. I need to go three and then push. One, two, three. But I guess I could skip the push, right? Yeah, I don't have to push. Yeah, I'm just going to attack. Oh, that's a big crit. Yes. That's a, worth six crits for the people. Six crits for that, that rock and kill there. Let's see if we can just end this elite. Whoa. Burn two discarded cards. I think I still have my loot card, right? Let's get rid of that. And, uh, I guess rumbling advantage. Savage. Oh, what? Oh, no. Didn't account for that. No. Okay, so we lost him. We lost him again. Um, and we're down to uh, needing, I have to short rest, right? I'm going to have to try to pull this off. How am I going to do this? Am I going to die again? I'm so close. I just need to do four damage. Long rest. I just use one discarded card. Short.
short rest doesn't heal me. Long rest does heal me. Um... Uh, But I could die because she's just going to shoot me, right? But how am I going to move up there? Four. One. One, two, three, four, five. I have to be able to get up there. Or get ranged on her with some mad damage, dude. If you long rest, she has free range to shoot. Right. I don't think you should have blocked that damage. Yeah, I'm thinking I might have made a choice. A bad choice. The furthest I can move with this guy is four. My ranged attacks, I can muddle at range two. One, two, three, four. I mean, I can get up to right here, right? With this movement. To then get in range and I could like muddle her, right? And then am I dead? If I short rest and draw her out of the room, how does that help me, though? Yeah, I'll be dead. I need to go for her. I need to go for it. I need to go for the face. I have to go for the face with massive boulder in some way. But I can't get close enough, can I? Oh, it's range three. So I could go, like, one. I could go one, two, and then massive boulder, right? Which gives me the best chance at actually taking her out. Because it does three damage, am I right? Attack three, move three, to get like right here, and then take her out right there. Maybe if I get the good, if I get a good uh, modifier. Otherwise, I'm dead. I think this is my only turn. I have to short rest. No, yeah, I have to short rest and hope that I can. I have to just keep. Yes. All right. I need massive boulder and dirt in it. Dirt tornado. So I need massive boulder. Redraw. Yeah, earth and your earth and clod. I'm just gonna get rid of. Okay, that actually worked out. Okay, so then I get a chance here, right? I got a chance. I can move three to here. Oh wait, we're just gonna see if we die right here anyway. Okay, so she's gonna move. Let's see where she moves. Ow. Okay, I think we got... This is our only chance right here. I have to go and massive boulder her. What? What did she do? Oh, did she just make me not move? Oh, what a jerk. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> oh, that is so savage. She just rocked me. Oh, what a jerk. She totally immobilized me. Oh my gosh. What a jerk, man. So I'm dead. Right? There's no way. I have no help. I can't. I can't do anything. I can't even attack. She's too far away. I can't move. So she just rocked me. Oh, sweet. What's up? Frost Thor, welcome to the best camp on Twitch and joining me for some Gloomhaven learnings where I just got destroyed, I think. But before the death, because of Frost Thor subbing up, let's spin the wheel for Frost Thor so we don't go out with complete disaster at time. Frost Thor. Thank you, Dr. Thanks, Frost Thor. Appreciate the support. That's rad. I can still long rest to die slowly. I can dirt tornado. Yeah, maybe. Oh, and it's a bean, courtesy of Frost or these bean boozled beans here. Let's see, I'm gonna take what I know for you, Frost Thor. Since it all popped out, this would be strawberry banana smoothie or barf. Um, no, this is dead fish. Dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie. Courtesy of you, Frost Thor. Thank you so much for the sub. And it's dead fish. Oh, it's a way to go out, dude. Thank you. Thank you for an awful tasting bean right before I die. If I long rest, I just die. Right? I just long rest to the, to the long rest. Bratwurst for the 100 bits. Thank you so much, guys, for all the support as I go out. What's going on, Bratwurst? Oh, this tastes awful. <laughs> this tastes really bad. 
Courtesy of Frost Thor. Yeah, if I if I short rest, I'm dead. If I long rest. Wait, actually I can long rest, can't I? Love. I can, but I'm just gonna die because they're gonna shoot me. Oh, late night table of 27 months. Thank you so much, Spence. The Gloomhaven Master. I hope you do. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> that thing went down the wrong way. I would like to have had strawberry. Thank you, Frostthor. Me too. That just I just sucked dead fish down my throat. Spencer, 27 months. Thank you. Let me fire the wheel spin as I burn my throat out. Oh, the Gloomhaven Master. Thanks for the first physical game of Gloomhaven at TwitchCon 2017. Oh, great. 10 push-ups. <laughs> 10 push-ups, courtesy of uh, Spencer there. So I got, I owe you guys 10 burpees and 10 push-ups after this round right here that's going to happen. She takes a shot. She hits me for three damage. That doesn't kill me, right? Because I technically have five health. Ugh, gross. 10 push-ups, 10 push-ups. 10 burpees, 10 push-ups. Actually, I have 20 push-ups now. Because I got 10 push-ups earlier. Uh, 20 push-ups, 10 burpees. Uh, I... I think I have five health, so I don't die if I take this, right? Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, that's a mission fail, guys. So because I guess because it's roguelike, all my gold earnings have gone to garbage, and it sends me back to the end, the wayward end, with no money. I'm broke. I will never be able to fight a necromancer ever again. I just, I'm not good. I can't handle it. Back to the main menu here, guys. And that's the best I can do for today, I think. I appreciate everyone coming in and joining up and saying what's going on. But it's been fun. It's been fun today. Thank you for everyone's help. Welcome to Gloomhaven. I don't know how you guys survived through all this, Spence. I don't know how you guys dealt with this uh, for so long and surviving all this. I mean, we we can barely handle the, the zombicide losses. <laughs> we can barely handle the zombicide losses, and today I just got wrecked. But it was a, it was a learning day. I haven't played Gloomhaven in two years but you guys, best camp on Twitch, so much awesome support today. Uh, help me out. So I owe you guys a lot of uh, punishment, physical punishment, after eating an awful bean. 20 push-ups, 10 burpees, and then we're going to be signing off. So let me bust those out for you guys. 20 push-ups, 10 burpees for suffering through the blue haven. 20 push-ups. Oh, there we go. Crit fit, my friends. Crit fit. Oh, that was savage. That was savage. Good game. Check it out. Woo, I just got Gloomhaven. I'm sweating. I'm suffering with nice tastes in my mouth. Nice being dead fish, that is. <laughs> um, Guys, check out Gloomhaven Steam Early Access right now. Asthma Day. They're digitizing the world of gaming right now. Board gaming especially that we live in. Um, it's a lot of fun. It looks like it's good. I can't wait for them to keep adding more and more and more and more polish to the game. It's super fun. I hope you guys go check it out. Thanks again for everyone joining me today. And be sure... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Doo -doo, doo -doo. <laughs> um, be sure you come hang out. On Monday, we're going to be doing a special medium stream. If you haven't played this word association card game that's being released at Gen Con from Storm Chaser Games, uh, from Greater the Games that picked it up, Storm Chaser made it. Um, Nathan, oh, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to catch my breath. Um, but we're going to have Nathan Danielle from Storm Chaser Games, the designers of the game, um, come and join us along with Dan Patrice from the Geek All-Stars podcast. Uh, and Lyle will be back. Um, it's a great word association party game. It's going to be sweeping the nation before you know it. It's really easy to learn, real fun to play. I hope you guys come and check it out on Monday. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to hop on here for a day stream. I believe we're going to try to do... Uh, Community pickup games of Keyforge, uh, the unique deck game from Fantasy Flight. Uh, we've been playing it via Tabletop Simulator. 
um, and doing that kind of stuff. So tomorrow, if you play Keyforge and you have the Tabletop Sim mod, you know how to use it well uh, and are a member of our Discord community, uh, subs always get priority on games. Um, we're going to try to uh, d try out some pickup games earlier in the morning. So again, it'll probably be an early stream start uh, because I have family in town. <laughs> and I can't catch my breath. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> okay. Ah, I'll probably be starting around 10 a.m. Eastern time again tomorrow um, because family's in town. And uh, we'll do some pickup games of Keyforge. So if you haven't seen Keyforge, you want to come learn it? Come hang out, come check it out. And Schneeberg, thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Uh, it'll be Keyforge Day tomorrow, and then we'll be doing Medium on Monday. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you're a tabletop fan, you like Crit Camp, come hang out. Again, thank you to everyone. Good to see you, Spence. Thanks for swinging through. Thanks to everyone who helped me try to relearn Gloomhaven today. I'm not fully there yet, and I got a lot to learn, including strategy and just memorizing different dudes' cards <laughs> and making better choices. But uh, we made it through one. We, we survived once. So that's cool. That's cool. We got one win. Uh, and then we lost all our money. So try it out. Rock and roll. Peace, good gaming, guys. Best camp on Twitch. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Enjoy gaming. See ya tomorrow. I don't know what else to say. I'm trying to catch my breath. I'm going to pass out here because of all your support. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye.